Okay, it's us. We're live on the internet. We're back. Uh, Kevin just asked, oh, geez, what did I miss last time? <laughs> <laughs> to which we, like, push the button of go live very, very quickly. Go live! Go live! Please help. Please help us. Oh, my. In oh, trouble. My, oh, my. Please help. Please help. Please help. <laughs> help. Um, things did get dramatic in your absence, Naya. Yeah, there's no <laughs> doubt about it. Uh, we escalated a little bit as we you were down for a week, you know. Oh gosh, what? Yeah. What? I don't. What did you? What did you? What did you do? We didn't do anything. Whoopsie. All right. Yeah, we did nothing. Can I be? Well, I I might take a little bit of blame. <laughs> I, I I would say I would say that Lux has a role in advancing us to this point, but that we mm. all have a collective responsibility <laughs> for the current situation in which we find ourselves. Thank you. I, I feel like I that's perfect. Yep. Honestly, but it's not equal collective. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. Lux's fault, but it's kind of Lux's fault. <laughs> I'm maybe just glad like it's not my fault for once. The situation that we were in, or something. Have you all? Have we not rested? Nope. Uh, <laughs> I, I Evan, don't know what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> Evan, if it makes you feel any better, if it makes you feel any better, uh, there's also uh, like maybe a ghost dragon. Um, <laughs> Yeah, that's not shown on the it's board good. right now. Right, but but awesome. good, very cool, but a good one maybe. Yes, don't tell them that. Oh, oh well, it, it seems looks awesome like as a hell. cool dragon. Like, uh, did we short rest last time though? Yes, we did short rest. Yes, yes. to which actually I have some interesting notes for you, uh, Naya, as you short rest. Uh, yeah, we missed you last week. We're still short of Grace. It's just a scheduling thing. She's still around and eager to get back to it. Uh, she just came back from like a long week of travel. Um, yeah, it's good to see all you guys here. Uh, we usually banter, but I mean, there seems like a great deal of urgency. Do we like tackle the like things at the front, or uh, yeah, you guys tell me. I feel so uh, abnormal. I mean, you talked about food yet? I was all excited yeah, we, to no, discuss my clam any... chowder tonight. Like, oh yeah, clam chowder. <laughs> yeah, New great. England or uh, Manhattan, Taylor. Uh, New England. New England. New England. Even as much yeah. as in New York, man, clam chowder can get the hell out of here. <laughs> I don't even really your, like clam chowder that much. Tomato base, don't. get out. <laughs> I don't really like clams that much. I'm what? such a texture person. I don't really like it. It's just not. I, I, I love clam chowder. <laughs> I love clams has... too. When Taylor's dad got married, I brought five bags of Little Neck clams and just stood at a barbecue <laughs> all day and cooked a thousand clams. That's all I did. And and ate 500. I don't know. <laughs> oh I love to like seafood is probably my favorite type of food, I guess. Like sushi is top notch for me, but like seafood in general. So like clams, oysters, mm -hmm. uh, clam chowder, lobster bisque, like, oh, yes, yes, all of it. Just, just yeah. shove it in my face, please. I don't know what it is. I love fish, but I don't like, and I don't know, it's not even a taste thing. I just don't like the process of eating like crab or lobster. I don't. Oh, yeah. Mm. And I, I I hate it. It's like that's too that's too much for me to like just crack crab open an fan. animal. Yeah, I'm a crab fan. And when I live down in Maryland, yeah. they go hard with the blue crabs down there. You know, there would be like yeah. Fourth of July parties with my in-laws where it would be like five picnic tables just covered in newspaper mm. with hammers where we're just like it's like hammers. a ravenous yeah, to smash the crabs, you know. Well, I mean, and there's yeah, just like but... crab all over the place. <laughs> like but meanwhile, like lobster, like I'm way out. I had to steam lobster lobsters for like lake george when i was working at the wholesaler the seafood wholesaler so i spent a couple of summers steaming like i don't know 300 400 lobsters a day and i was like so over it by the end of that with like the dreads and the whole thing i mean they were lingering uh odors it just was a bad scene oh, no. it was a whole it was a very bad scene yeah oh, no. lobster is rough to cook like because it takes so long but like mm -hmm. that's why like crabs and like crawfish like so into it. I was boiling for a while. Crawfish boils are absolutely phenomenal. One of my friends is from Louisiana, lives in New York. When I used to live here, he always did an annual crawfish boil. I uh, loved going to it. 
And then when I moved, I didn't get to go for a long time. And the this year was the first time he did it again since because of COVID. So I was back and I was excited because I was like, oh, man, I'm back in time for the crawfish boil. <laughs> Ate a lot of crawfish, to say the very least. <laughs> Mm -hmm. um we used to catch them up here we have them in the creeks and like this is a thing when i was a kid we'd have like uh the skahari valley thanksgiving tailor in the summer where uh me and john's little brother rob would fill up like a five gallon putty bucket full of crayfish and then we would go shoot frogs and make frogs legs and uh you do it like the right time at the end of the summer and you can get a bunch of blackberries like uh, it was great like the whole like we're gonna ride around in the woods all day and like gather our great feast uh yeah yeah i'm here for the berry picking but i'm just not here for eating the like hard shell things that creatures. still have no face on them yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, i definitely yeah I, de I just i don't know and also just texture not like texture is really important to me and i don't know i just can't get behind it yet i don't know maybe i will at some point in my life who knows it's very but. fair uh this seems like a gross enough conversation to have alienated <laughs> most of the audience pretty oh, i think we're just doing a great job of like delaying the tpk here so <laughs> <laughs> let's get this TPK. i mean no. we're just talking about cracking shells uh several questions oh, cheaper. several questions <laughs> again why uh that's one two okay we short does, does the short rest count for me as well did i short rest Okay, I don't get any spells back. I just get yeah. Spells. I mean, yeah, yeah just health, but I can, you know, and stuff. I can yeah, roll a hit die, right? We're deeply low I think on we should, spell slots. Yeah, I, really I, I think we should start by slots. giving a T TLDR recap for yeah, Kevin and the viewers' sake. Indeed, yeah. we and should. definitely no one else's sake. Yeah, yeah. definitely yeah, no one else. We all definitely Everybody remember how we got here. Knows exactly. what's happening, but just for the folks who don't. Who are just tuning in now uh where last we left our heroes the group of you having transported through the house and odd this great ruined temple on the jungle world of ruin here to the myriad asteroid found yourselves amidst a uh chamber filled with portals it was at this point that a doll came levitating up the stairs uh some discussion conversation and engagement with said doll revealed it was being manipulated by an orb the dark occult transcription index one of the original orbs taken by fred cynic animated intelligent and malicious apparently it desired to keep you trapped here a battle broke out you shattered it you fought off a group of skeletons and you hunkered down for a short rest which brings us to last episode wherein the rest of you after resting for a bit realize naya oh exhausted weary worn for the nostalgia their musings of home, exactly <laughs> uh had slipped into a bit of a slumber their short rest going a little bit longer than the rest of you and so as naya napped gently here on the upper floors surrounded basking in the light of these eight portals surrounding them in the supper compound the rest of you proceeded further downstairs you made it past the workroom on the first basement level into what appeared to be a kind of bunk room with a series of beds uh murder most foul having been committed here ancient blood stains on the floor tussled beds and the remnants of so many dead uh humanoids you searched the room extensively where you found a manuscript and instructions on how to fabricate snot grog, which may be a goblin cleaning solution or may be a goblin alcohol. Regardless, uh, you found as well a lurid romance book, uh, The Hammer and the Rose, a story of a completely uh, taboo love affair between dwarf and elf, a, an affair that spanned worlds, uh, Doc tucking that away surreptitiously for later, at which point the group of you realized the entirety of this compound, these basement floors, and the ceiling of the chamber above were encased in a wall of force, preventing you from descending lower. And so, with some conversation and discussion, Reginald, Master of Magic, dispelled the wall of force, preventing, opening rather, the, the way to the lower levels in the basement beneath you, as well as removing the ceiling and the barriers of the upper chamber where Naya naps, opening the entire top of this facility up to the void of space beyond. As the three of you, along with Waffle, descended into the lowest chamber, you found a natural cavern filled with these large kind of 
purplish geodes emitting out of the walls and the bones of a long dead dragon which rose its spectral ghostly form filling up the tiny subterranean room of this asteroid hurtling through the stars the dragon itself linerex the gatekeeper it named itself having been captured caught and killed here by the cynics who built this place in the distant past uh, her very death fueling the magic to open the portals that are upstairs one additional orb floated above a pedestal which she described as having been forged from her heart while it was torn from her body in the days of her life as you spoke with her a cadre of wraiths appeared bearing steel in their hands apparently part of some endless cycle where these ghosts fight each other ever and ever onwards a cycle which you had broken in opening the passage down here and entering the room and so you were attacked uh the three of you beset upon by these wraiths you battled one of them banished lux is surrounded the ghost dragon's form inhabited a large kind of golden circlet which was sitting on a table it began vibrating and levitating into the air you heard her voice telling you this circlet was the key to controlling the myriad asteroid to controlling the portals the circlet of control for this place she told you you must not die here for this is a place of ghosts and so we pick back up tonight as naya you having sat down to take your short rest along with your friends let me just pause are there any questions or clarifications on that recap how do you spell uh, the dragon's name by the way oh yeah good, good, good question that's a great question <laughs> i will type it in the chat thank you um so i guess question one can i roll a hit die <laughs> you can uh, and to the point of that question one, I think as Naya, you had very notably taken for yourself, stuffing Indeed. into your pack, the doll uh -huh. that was levitated by Dottie yep. up into the upper room. And so as you sat for the rest, your friends kind of bandaging their wounds, getting water and wine and kind of uh, gathering themselves, you might have uh, examined over it. But I think as you sit to take your long rest, you realize there's this kind of late long or short. Did I get a long rest? Oh, I'm sorry. Short rest, short Damn. rest. Damn. Uh, you realize there is this kind of latent magic emitting up from within the doll. And as you uh as you sit to take your long rest, I will reveal to you this small handout of a <laughs> that the doll has, one of which would allow you to double any hit dice that you roll when you take a short rest to heal. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> uh all right, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> well, so I'm reading the other part of this. Ew! <laughs> very strange. It's a very strange little it. doll. I hate it. Okay, I'm, I'll have to remember <laughs> some of this. I'll go a deeper dive later. Um, it's exciting. Wow. Okay. <laughs> cool. Uh, all right, so rolling two hit dive. Mine are D10s. Hell yeah. Yeah. Uh, da da. Hell yeah. Oh. Don't forget your constitution modifier. Uh yeah, that that maxes me back up, uh, which is Please. great. Okay, that's a good sign. That's something. That's something. That's something. Great. Uh good start. Loving this. Um okay, so I think uh so hang on one second. What does this say? <laughs> oh, that's fun. Yep. It can really double your hit time. dice when you stop for a short rest. It can cast a spell on you, and mm -hmm. then it's got another just very weirdly random ability. A yeah. Very weird thing that I'll have to really dive into a little bit later. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, so I think Naya, uh, when they wake up, I think the first thing they probably do is, um, before noticing everyone else is gone, probably like it picks up, like has the doll, and is kind of like looking at it. And then probably turns back to uh, the portal that changed 
Mm -hmm. when the doll tried to cast that spell to show him their worst nightmare mm -hmm. and like kind of stares at that portal remembering what they saw before and then looks back at the doll and is uh is clearly contemplating and thinking about something but doesn't mm -hmm. say anything out loud uh and then at last finally like looks up and is just like what where'd everybody go and I think just they as leave. you <laughs> say that, Naya, you suddenly hear this like whoop, popping sound from above you, almost like a bubble exploding. That was a terrible popping sound. But as you like peer up and look, you see that there was this kind of like almost reflective sheen of this this like clear barrier that you've been peering through. After so many months on the Dragonfly and the time spent on the spaceship, you've become accustomed to like peering through a uh, uh, like clear screen of glass right and as you look up you realize that there was some type of like sheet of of like clear force protecting the entire top of this place as well as doorways of force that were like blocking off the individual portals and almost perhaps Nia, like a temptation in your lap as you sit like peering like at this portal that kind of changed all the barriers kind of preventing you from entering fall away uh there's like this popping kind of like sound as like the stars you realize are all reflecting a little bit clearer and brighter above you uh no longer like trapped in this place you do still have oxygen all celestial bodies like moving through space down to ships to people uh they form an oxygen bubble around themselves because D, D in space I was gonna be my question. Do I explode immediately? Nope, nope, you're good. Yeah, you have not been vacuumed out. Uh, <laughs> I think so. Like just as that happens, you realize you're alone up here with the doll. The portals, like, kind of opening their light, basking on you even brighter. The stars flitting by above as you hurtle through the void of space. Um, Naya kind of gets up and just like, oh, uh, putting the doll back into their pocket at the same time. Um. Did they leave? Did they leave me? Would they have done that? Is this what that feels like? Usually I'm the one who leaves. That's weird. Uh, ooh, but all the portals are gone. Maybe they went into one of the portals. Which portal did they go into? They said Ice World. Was it Ice World or was it Machine World? We were debating on one of those two. Ooh, those are some really fun. <laughs> uh, hello? Lux? Was that, was that you? Are you in one of the portals? Did you guys go to Machine World? <laughs> Get your ass down here! Uh, can I can I hear the the, the voice coming from the stairway? Yeah, I think you can. I think it's you're like <laughs> looking up into space. You're staring at Machine World down the hallway, right? You like turn and like, oh yeah, it is coming pretty loud up those stairs from down there. Yeah, that seems to be what's happening. Yeah. Uh oh um okay uh I just this better. Ugh. Now he pulls out the sword. Like this better be life or death. I have a chance to go to Machine World over here. Every battle is life or death, Swordmaster. We <laughs> fight for the right to survive. Oh, hey, Iron Reef. I haven't heard from you in a minute. How are you doing? I was running down the stairs. I smell the stink of dragons in this place, Swordkeeper. <laughs> Perhaps we shall mark another on our roster. <laughs> oh, now that sounds much more fun than Machine World. Uh, <laughs> if you can sniff them out to the dragon, please. And I think that down in the lower depth of the basement, as the commander of the sword race calls to me, my fair minions, and further Ooh, race enter the room the around you. <laughs> you hear this echo up from downstairs, Naya, and then the group of you in the basement hear this roaring sound. Fear or swim! The death dealers approach! Run, run, faster! run uh, as you're like charging down the stairs uh, and so it basically takes you all of like two rounds to get down here which is perfectly convenient because we have fought through two rounds of combat already <laughs> Naya and so as you like race down the first flight of stairs you come through like this switchback of stairs running through the laboratory that you'd seen already you run down a second set of stairs and you realize you're like charging through what looks like kind of like a bedroom uh, uh, like um, a bunk facility, right? And the last set of stairs drops down oh, man, into a ladder. Man, we slept on the floor. Yeah, I know. 
uh, the last set of rooms, uh, the last basement rather, rather drops down into a ladder. So I think as you like race to the bottom of the stairs and like circle around, you peer down into the room and you get a look at the site arrayed before you. Uh, Luxon are on on the north side of the room. The massive skeleton of this draconic body spread out around the eastern wall of the cavern uh, floating above a pedestal, pedestal over here. There is this turquoise orb emitting light all up through the space uh and yeah reginald and doc like back to back on the other side of the room as you begin shuffling downstairs i'm gonna say naya how about click your token let's roll initiative for you what the hell is going on what are these what did you all do uh, hard to explain fight the ghost not oh. the dragon okay <laughs> but, but uh, dragon good dragon, dragon cool Ah, but this dragon is dead already. I do not like these games. You hear, like, echoing off the sword as, like, Naya begins kind of descending down the ladder. Uh, 912, we got you in there. Okay. It's a good good start. A nine. <laughs> we will take it. Uh, the rest of you, as you see the form of Naya begin descending down the ladder uh, in the midst of like this frantic combat, as it were, is there anything like noteworthy that you all are yelling amidst each other? Anything we want to stop down in on? Uh, can, you, can you just point out where the crown is? Yeah, yeah. Or where the circle it is, I should say. Yeah, that would be a good choice. Right? I wrote portal crown in my notes. <laughs> 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 In my head. <laughs> and Lux shall be dubbed Queen of Portals. <laughs> <laughs> the portal crown. Uh, it's like floating right here in between Reginald and like this table. Uh, I, I think it should be pretty clear, right? That little ring. Yes. I mean, Princess of Portals has a bit of ring to it, okay, but fine, Troy. But it's yes, lower. I knew. Better. I know. I know. I just, There's just... a literal portal crown. Well. well Oh, yeah, I don't okay. know. What, well, <laughs> not what it is, but like, I mean, that's what Lux would, would like thinks it is. A lot of questions. Cool. I, I think uh, Naya would have heard Reginald shout generally, like some version, which I will not quote directly a week later, of like, for goodness sakes, if you're on our side, activate now. Come mm -hmm. to me. Oh, but yes, that's right. That's right. I do remember that. that was... yep. And I don't know that Naya will know what that means. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, Naya's probably just like, I'm coming to you, Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> Put that thing on, Reggie! Yeah. Great. With that, uh, as Naya, you're climbing down the ladder. So you need one hand free to climb the ladder. I presume you have like your sword in the other hand as you're shuffling down. Uh, I guess we're at the top of the round. And Lux, you are up. Uh, great. Lux looks uh, pretty badly hurt for whatever it's worth. There's like blood like running down her clothes. I uh, would love Doc to do something about that. <laughs> <laughs> Doc and We're Reggie. We're going to be okay. Doc and Reggie look okay, but Lux is like pretty banged up. Waffle like floating over one of the rates over there, you know. Uh, yeah, Lux, you're up. Totally fine. Um, okay, Lux, the first thing she's going to do is um, after all this time of Lux wielding weapons, I think she like takes a moment as she's like trying to hit these these like ghost wraith things and it's like why the fuck am i using a battle axe and changes into a rapier and slices at the one between her and waffle uh yeah so yeah that's bonus action to switch the weapons and then she will attack twice oh i guess how are they it. Remind me how they're both looking, I guess. First. So Let's the one here. above you, the one in between you and Waffle is actually like pretty battered. Waffle hammered on it a little bit and you already cleaved it. Uh, the other one is like taking a couple of hits from magic, but it looks like much hardier, right? The substance of like its form much fuller and, and stronger okay. as it were. Um, here, I'll move us to a map page. Oh no, I don't uh, have Kevin on this map page. Whoops. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh okay yeah so i think lux like uh like holds the rapier for a moment like yeah this is better and like uh kind of nimble feeling better without the heavy weapon in her hands like swings out 27 
27 absolutely hits Lux as you like launch forward with this force ray beer uh, for nine points of damage as it like tears into like the ectoplasmic flesh of this ghost. Second attack, 19 totally hits. Wait for six for damage. Oh. Uh, Lux, like, quickly, the blade, like, reforming in your hand from this massive oversized axe down into that of a thin rapier as you leap and plunge, uh, carving into this ghost. That's your action. That's your bonus action. Is that your turn? Yep. Oof. Uh, okay. Uh, the commander goes, this one having, like, called to summon the further allies in. It will act right here as it's going to. Didn't take damage this turn. Okay, doesn't need to worry about that. Uh, with the sword in two hands, it lunges for you, Lux. Uh, 15, 19. Sorry, which one is attacking? Uh, this one right here, not yep. the one next to Waffle. Yep, okay. good call. Uh, 19 hits, 15 does not. Uh, the professor would reach out and uh, in reaction, activate the Astromancy Archive in Lux's direction uh, and expend a charge requiring uh, that a D4 be subtracted from the attack roll by the commander. Amazing. Yes. You want to roll or should I? I will roll, please. You roll. Kelly. Oh. <laughs> yes. Misses. Let's go. As the Astromancy <laughs> Archive like pivots in your hand. Uh, and there's almost like this this jolt of time where you have a moment locks able to like reposition the blade of force deflecting it off that is the commander's action for his bonus action and i think reg is like only able to just like he's dealing with what's in front of he's like nope (laughs) for his bonus action he's going to use his martial fury he just gets to make one more free attack at you great sorry uh-huh. Yeah, that, that'll do it. Okay, but so this is going to be rough, Lux. You take that 12 points of damage plus. Oh, I'm down. I'm down. Lux drops. Uh, all attacks against the commander have advantage until its turn next round as it just like focuses all of its fury. Having missed the attacks against Lux, it is uh, crazed, lunges for her and like exposes itself to the rest of you as it's like looming down towards her. That is its turn. The warriors go. This one is going to attack you, Reginald, as it's standing right up on top of you. 20. Uh, 20 does hit. 14 slashing oh, damage? Yeah, I already used my reaction. Yep. Uh, 14 points of slashing damage. Got I'm it. rolling good stuff. I don't know if you're holding concentration on anything. This uh, I am. Allow okay. me to roll, please. No problem. Uh, it should be con- yeah, same number. Constitution save. We're good. Okay, this one whirls around at Waffle as Lux goes down. The commander, like, standing over her 14. Uh, This is Waffle, I think, right? Yeah, Waffle just, like, dropping underneath the force of the blade. That's that. That brings us to Doc on 13. Uh, Okay. Um, Doc is going to... uh, I'm pretty sure she can get there, no problem. Uh, Run over here. Uh, One... Yep, there's nothing threatening you. The wraith in front of you has been destroyed, so you're just... With yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. So she's going to run uh, here, uh, put a hand on Lux and uh, second level cure wounds. Wow. Uh, uh, wow. Well, for uh 19 uh oh, oh, oh. Is that real how did i do that because <laughs> you just rolled a uh, beast like, mode melissa you yeah. rolled max yeah max healing. Was yeah great. not quite that's not even max actually that yeah. is uh but okay sweet so. um and she's like no 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 get back up uh <laughs> and then uh with the last five feet of movement is going to step here and because the, uh lux is conscious she still gets flanking um as she attacks twice 
or sorry, uh, nope, she can't do anything. Because you uh, just used your action. That was her action. Okay. Yep. Uh, sorry, and then bonus action, Waffle is going to attack this one. Got it. Um, but Waffle will have advantage. Yes. Uh, there we go. As Lux is like down. Uh, For a like, net 20. Out, it's like 20! <laughs> Uh, go. Uh, for waffle, seven for seven. Waffle beast mode. <laughs> That's okay. Waffle hammering into this wraith as it stands here. Unfortunately, the thing still lingers, barely like standing, but standing nonetheless. Uh, Doc, that was your action. That was your bonus action. That was your movement. That's your turn. Yep. Okay. Which will bring us to Naya. Uh, Naya, as you're like scurrying down the ladder, you like drop down, your feet hit this like wooden platform that's raised up off like the earthy stone floor around you. The room is filled with chaos. Uh, what would you like to do? Uh, ooh, I'm in my element. <laughs> as <they> yeah, chaos. <laughs> sure. Um, uh, and definitely, uh, did they see Lux go down and get back up? Yes, uh, they like all see Lux. Like so, these these guys are right on top of her, and okay. they seem like Doc bring her back up. Yep. Okay, so yeah, I think for a moment though, Naya's breath catches as uh, Lux went down, but then once Doc uh, healed her, uh, they kind of like brush that off and like run runs over to the one that's standing there. At I guess took her down and. Um, says uh well actually what did you say is up with this with the red dot on there uh yeah so it's like just focused entirely on lux like it's not even looking over its shoulder as you start approaching it so you have advantage on all attack rolls against it until it's turn next round great then um as uh naya's running over and is just like hey everyone look alive well except for the dead ones i suppose um also uses channel divinity but specifically harness divine power mm -hmm. to regain a second level spell slot for Ooh. first thing um and then once arriving at this guy will uh make a first attack okay so let's start there which like you said i think is an advantage as you like leap off the stage down towards the ground, the sword like cleaving through the air, uh, 21 totally hits. Cool, that's uh, for nine, and then we'll come back around and swing one more time for extra attack, uh, for eight. So, yeah, uh, eight and nine, whatever that adds up to, as I refuse to do math right now. Yep, no <laughs> problem. It's 17. Thank you. you like jump down off the stage, just sword like cleaving through like the spectral form of this thing as it wheels and you just cleave iron reeve around again the three of you now surrounding this one as lux is like flatter or back on the stone ground naya that's your action that's your bonus action that's your movement that's your turn mm -hmm. okay yep. uh which brings us to the professor professor you toe-to-toe -to -toe with the wraith doc yep. has charged the room uh you're up yeah i see everyone gathering around the commander and prof the professor like looks from the wraith in front of him and it's like I, I, I want in and uh steps out uh away from the current wraith uh it can take an attack of opportunity if it wishes it gladly will 14 does not hit yes. uh and i will action cast a second level uh chromatic orb at this and i believe it's an advantage mm-hmm at the commander, um, yeah. At the commander, at Newt's commander, and <laughs> Newt's commander. <laughs> and well this is a twenty-six to hit. Yes, yes, uh, that will hit. Good, uh, and he will go ahead and pump both power surges into this as well for an additional eight points of damage, for a total of thirty-one points of uh, amazing. Let's say lightning damage. Yeah. I don't think you need me here at all. <laughs> uh, the arcing like 
ball of lightning surges uh, from the decoder wheel, the Astromancy Archive, kind of like threading the needle right over uh, Naya's shoulder, hammering down into the form of this thing. Doc kind of like looming over it, standing on this pile of rubble. You see like almost like the lightning inside of like a storm cloud surging down through the body of this wraith, Reginald. Uh, that's your action. That's some of your movement. You get the rest of your movement on a bonus action. Yes, uh, he's. It's still up. It's looking okay. Aside from it's being dead, it's still up. I mean, it's ghostly, but it's still up. It looks like thinner. Like that did some real damage to it. Did um? Sorry, one more question. Did no uh, I notice anything in terms of the fire, the impact of fire on these uh, whatever the black uh creatures are? Oh, yes. When you hit the actual like wraith wraiths, the regular wraiths, you did realize that um, they seemed to be resistant to the fire damage. Okay. But the commander or, or the like blue boys didn't. Nope. Yeah. So the blue wraiths, you notice like the weapons that they're holding are real weapons. They have steel swords, right? There's like armor, like kind of jangling around them. They seem to have a more uh, like physical, tangible form, whereas the black ones are just really like spectral wraiths. Um, great. Okay. So then I think um, uh, bonus action. Uh... I think he'll look back at the one that he left and said, well, okay, yes, 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 have your turn. And we'll uh, activate two of the minute meteors that are still swirling around Reginald at this point, both of which are going to go at the blue wraith. Uh, so let me see. I got to roll. It's got to roll some kind of something. I think deck saves. Deck saves. Yeah. Yep. Uh, for the first one and then the second one. Uh, eight and a 19. Great. So it takes six points of fire damage and another three points of fire damage. You got it. Uh, it's like the double meteor is like hammer down into the ground on this one behind you. Uh, stone like erupting the sound of like the stone kind of raining down on the floor <laughs> all around you go guys. Uh, yeah, cool. Excellent. And then uh, bonus action, activate the ring of jumping bound over this little dais here and stand between a prone lux and whatever these ghastly creatures are i love it very very End cool of okay got it uh that was reggie on five the orb comes like floating out uh and up right next to you reginald uh, you just see the little like turquoise orb. It's like floating away from the pedestal on the far side of the room. And it kind of like hovers up a little higher around the stage, like circling down in where it like drops in next to you. And it's like sitting here, like floating right next to you, Reginald, uh, as you're looking at it and you realize like an orb orb. By yes, the way? Like a, yes. Oh, no. It's like a glass. Another orb. one of these things. This big. It's glimmering this turquoise light. But Naya, as you turn to like look at it while it drops down in between you and Reginald, did you like another one of these things? Uh, the pair of you like turning to look down into it, you get like a glimpse of this almost looks like nebulous stars moving inside of it. It is like this, like a whole little like starscape inside of this orb as it floats here next to you uh at which point aya says my god it's full of stars <laughs> should have sent a poet <laughs> it's looking at what it can do here oh okay cool 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 yeah right uh i think that there is a moment here where it like light begins flaring inside of it this turquoise light illuminating up around like casting over all of you this blue glow lux you're like laying on the floor staring up through it from the ground doc you're looming over it like looking down through it from above and as this like turquoise light washes over you i think there is suddenly a moment where you begin to hear each other's voices rattling around in your minds and there's like this 
just sense of like connectivity through the orb as it is like amidst you the light washing over all of you i do not know that this will necessarily have a profound effect on the mechanical implications of this combat but the four of you are bound by a telepathic bond as your minds are kind of like linked together through one another and then reggie can i have you make an insight check yeah. Uh, actually, all of you guys can make insight checks if you want. You're all standing here seeing this. Why not? Does Waffle count as a creature? Yes. Interesting. Oh! <gasps> Target <gasps> Waffle! Yes! Oh my gosh! Everything just got so much better so fast. <laughs> okay, I think all of you with 15s or higher... So Reginald, perfect. like it, like comes, it starts floating a little bit closer to you. I think you have like, <laughs> arms, like, ooh. but then I think like you, it, like it, like almost like droops down a little bit. And I think all of you get the impression that like, if they had ears, it would like flop down. It very <gasps> much is like, uh, like you remember the dog Zabar and Bridge. It very much is like reminding you of almost like, <laughs> like. <laughs> Like a nervous puppy, you know, <laughs> like a sad dog. Like it's clearly like you yelled at it to do something, and so it just did something, and it's like floating next we to you. We have a puppy. We have a puppy. That's the orb's turn, which brings us to a much less fun turn that happens afterwards. Oh, with no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. On a side note, like, or do we have a moment where we realize? So instantaneously, it basically happens, and we all can hear each other's thoughts. Yes, you're automatically all like linked <sighs> telepathically. <laughs> I get a yeah, flow. We, we can like communicate Boom. with each other. I don't. I don't know if we're like hearing each other's thoughts. Oh yeah, that's the question. Like, it, it it's not like we can hear each other's thoughts, right? Like. No, uh, so it's up okay. to you, right, to, like, basically, you forge a telepathic link uh, until the spe spell ends. You can communicate telepathically through the bond, uh, whether or not you have a shared language. So it's, like, up to you how to parse when that happens in the moment, mm -hmm. as you are prepared okay, for great. it, right? Yes. Thanks. God, because if I had to just to say what's going through Naya's head, oh, boy, that would be a lot, but great, yeah. spared. <laughs> Hey, show don't tell. <laughs> um, the wraiths surge in around you all uh, and begin attacking. So one for Doc from behind. It comes like rolling up on you, looming in behind you. Uh, I think I got to like push on this a little bit. I think it's going to go for flanking. So with advantage. 17. No dice, Doc. The shield, like rolling around this this fourth shield, deflecting it for you, Naya. Uh, this one doesn't have advantage. It wouldn't. It would have come in at a weird angle. A uh, critical one. The like the wraith coming as you just like duck, and I think we see it like recoil as it drops down into this turquoise light coming off the orb. And two for Reggie, neither at advantage. Uh, wow. wow. <laughs> as Reginald, you're just like whoa, whoa, ducking the decoder wheel in your head. The ghost kind of like coming down in from up above you. That was a very fortunate turn. Lux on the wow. ground. You are up. Wait, no. Uh, at this point, at the end of the round, the uh, s this ring begins like fluttering over this way where it then like clatters down to the platform at the foot of the ladder here and like it's that moment of it like kind of rolling you like look back it's like this large kind of golden circlet all these runes etched around the edges with other like mithril and silver kind of woven and braided into it and as it sits like rolling on the stage that's the end of the round Lux you're up oh gosh I think Lux is like too focused on this like captain in front of her to like pay attention though. Like, gosh, it's tempting. Uh, okay. Yeah. I think Lux half of her movement to stand up and then is just like, kind of probably like, like feeling, you know, I think her face is like darkened a little bit and, uh, there's less like flourish to her movements as she kind of strikes out at this captain between her and doc. Okie doke. 
Uh, bonus action, planar warrior. 23. 23. Hits. Great. This rapier made of pure force, like driving into the ghost. It kind of like Hal staggering back. That's 15. Second attack. 18. Hits. Nice. Or six. Just hits. Uh, it looks very like thin at this point, right? It's like almost like tendrils of like this blue, like ectoplasm, like kind of rolling off of it and dissipating into the air all around you. Uh, Lux, that's your action. That's your bonus action. That's your turn. It okay. It goes, uh, it is going to, so no more advantage on the attack rolls as it goes, it wheels on you. Hmm. Any mini mighty mo. Can't do that. Just did that. Uh, yeah, it's gonna like strike at you again. It's just gonna make the two single attacks against you here, Lux. Mm -hmm. Nineteen twenty-two. Yep, both of those hit. Gosh, the dice for twelve and okay. yeah, down again. Uh, Lux like drops to the ground. It is not going to use its bonus action to get uh, advantage against it. It like wheels on the rest of you now, like growling to the others, like finish her, let her specter join us in their deaths. As like we cut to the sword race warriors now. Turn this one standing over you, Lux. I'm sorry, it, like attacks no, down. Waffle's like, going to impose disadvantage on this attack. Okay, so it's a straight nice. attack. Nine that does not hit as Waffle like Ooh. tangles up with the blade. Oh. I think he just like kind of grabs the sword from behind, like ah, the, like Wraith distracted, unable to land a hit. This one, however, goes kind of surging forward up onto the stage as it closes on Naya. It's going to attack with advantage uh yep the warrior uh yep 15 no. naya is a miss it will no. use its bonus action and attack again with martial fury uh 20 that will hit <laughs> come on sorry glad guys. i use those hit die uh, me too you take 15 points okay. of damage but this one now that is south of you has advantage on all attacks against it till the start of its next turn uh, as it used its martial fury. That brings us to Doc on 13. Oh, you're going to wish you hadn't done that. Uh, <laughs> she says as she uh, like, yeah, brings her bad legs down upon the captain. A 28 uh, hits. Yep. Uh, it's not advantage because Lux I'm is down, down, right? Oh, you are correct. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. So it's yes. just the 15. 15 misses, is right? a miss. Yes. Okay. That's fine. Uh, 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 she's going to be like, well, that was dumb. Uh, move over here uh, and swing a second time, eliciting an attack of opportunity, maybe. Okay. Uh, the Wraith Reach is grabbing for you as you lunge away from it. 15. Miss. Uh, yup, it's like hand trailing after your hair while you dive down to the ground, circling with Naya. Uh, so she's gonna swing again. 25. That hits. For seven slashing. Yep. Uh, that is it. Um, and then, uh, Waffle, uh, cause he's a strategic little genius is going to circle around and get advantage on his attack up here. <laughs> strategic little genius. I want that. For a net 20. Oh, what? <laughs> Two net 20s for Waffle. Waffle <laughs> has rolled <laughs> multiple net 20s in this combat. MVP. He rolled some last week too. Uh, 17 force damage. Oh. Waffle. What does it look like as Waffle absolutely <laughs> obliterates? Let's go. I think it's Waffle incredible. lets out this like screech which um through the telepathic bond is this like no uh, oh. and like tail comes like straight down on it like very much imitating like doc's movement with the x he's such a little legend uh, <laughs> that is your turn doc um yeah i'm trying i was trying to think if i 
uh, yeah, Waffle's gone, so I can't move anymore. Yep, I'm done. Okay, that brings us to Naya. Uh, as Naya's about to attack at the same time, is reaching out telepathically and just goes, Waffle? <laughs> oh! <laughs> so good. Um, I don't know if Waffle responds back within the six seconds, but, uh, yeah. I think um, he just, like, think... looks at you, like, very, like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Naya definitely smiles and laughs and then like uh, looks at the commander person and is just like uh, hey stay the f away from her uh, regarding Lux and swings at the commander to start okay this advantage. last like lingering rage looming uh, that hits 27 hits as you cleave into it for 12 points of damage uh huh. It's still standing. It is still standing. Yeah. That is fine. Uh, extra attack. Ah, oh, that sucks. That one misses. That is unfortunately brutal. As you cleave down into it, it like staggers. You like rend some of the actual links of metal armor. As bits of it are like falling away, you hear it like almost gaining material form, clattering into the stone as like chain links like sever and tear apart, collapsing onto the ground. It is still up though. It's like thin and wispy. There's all of this kind of like blue ethereal substance like peeling away from it. Naya, that was your action. No bonus action. Anything else? No, no bonus action. That is it. Reggie, you're up on six. How's Naya looking? Me? I'm great. Yeah. Great. Folded. Uh, <laughs> in which case, um, uh, free object interaction, reach and grab the the gold ring, the circlet. Okay, got it. Uh, can I immediately tell anything about it in my briefest free interaction here make it our kind of check yeah as like you scan quickly the runes you like grab it pulling it up like glancing at it uh you need more time it really flash hard to say oh, flash of genius yeah what That's is that Tell me. I think... sorry <laughs> hold on you're an artificer you should know how do i artificer? <laughs> you artifice <laughs> Uh, I haven't played that character since <laughs> April. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. Ability checks or saving throws. I can use my reaction to add my intelligence modifier to the roll so that's an extra five. It becomes 18. Oh. Uh, that is the last flush of genius that I have. But As soon as you like important. grab the ring and like lift it up in front of you, you're like holding it, peering through it at the orb on the other side, and you're like, these things are of a very similar diameter. This is really interesting. Uh, as like the orb is like staring into it with you. Uh, and yeah, I think that you can like ascertain easily that there's some kind of like arcane connection between the two of them. Um, you're not sure like activate it per se. I don't know if that's helpful. Yeah. It is. Um, okay. Well, uh, I think Reg grabs, looks, and and sees like the orb and the Naya behind the orb through the circlet, and she says, "Sorry." And and two of the final two meteors move and explode right here to the left of Naya. So I need <laughs> ah, yes. two dexterity saving throws from all four of those baddies plus Naya. You got it. Nice. Oh. 19. Gosh, this is interesting math tracking. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, let me roll damage. As these two meteors like explode on the ground in front of you. Uh, so half damage, full damage. What's your spell save, DC? 16? 16. Okay. Uh, I can figure out this math real quickly rather than us like got it so that one takes 13 uh-huh do i need to do two rolls or just a, just one what am I, how many rolls am i doing two uh you're doing two you're doing two. Oh, great okay yeah, i passed both of them yeah anything over 16 uh you take uh five sorry uh a fail takes five or two on success on the first one uh 11 on a fail or five on success on the second one 
the commander is obliterated by the like rupturing fire yeah, yeah, yeah. it is just driven back uh knocked completely out of commission uh as the rest of them take various amounts of damage from the erupting fire here okay um I think we have like a nice little circle around Lux at this point. It is a real protective formation that you all have created. It's pretty mm -hmm. impressive. <laughs> <laughs> I think I will use my action. Do, 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 sorry. Uh, just one more thing. Um, I will use my action in order to try and use or activate the circlet in some way. And so my question to you, Dungeon Master, is does this appear to be something that is worn or something that is like placed over the orb since it's like roughly the same size? As you are like like sliding your hand over it looking like, is it worn? Is it placed over the orb? What, you realize there is at the bottom of the ring, if we were like holding the ring like a donut like this, there's a hole seated in the bottom of it. And you suddenly just have the impression, a vision of it like mounted on the top of like a staff with the orb in the center of it and so as you like quickly start like rolling this like thing around and try to like activate it i think that you see like this myriad of stars the nebula inside the little glass orb they kind of coalesce forming again almost like this pupil eye peering at you through it and it's just like it like zooms right for you and kind of like kink seats into this like golden ring around the edges of it uh at which point i will just do this one thing just bear with me here for a moment i will note that mm -hmm. reginald does have a quarter staff upon him oh indeed he does uh reginald i'm gonna give well yeah i mean it is what it is here uh rather than making it to you so uh you immediately upon holding this when the orb like cinches into the ring i think you have a sense of awareness of like some of the other things that you can do with this but the notable point that is not like written down on this handout that i just popped up is that um you feel the portals above and you realize that you uh you like feel the energy like almost like a conduit between this device in your hand and those portals like you can shift them you could like change where they are going to uh so that's obviously not something that you're going to do in this round but to the extent of like activating the orb any of the other abilities here you could use uh should you choose to you have not shared the handout with me. oh i'm so sorry i'm so sorry here let me try it again that's totally Was it just me because i definitely saw it <laughs> yeah i, I also it. saw it yeah oh did i oh oh you updated the orb i, I already had the hand that's still yeah, open. yeah 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 mm -hmm. i'll trick uh, you uh detect the clairvoyance okay and i got it it's not like super offensive stuff you realize quickly as you're like scanning through the abilities within this but nonetheless yeah rolodex boom action in my hand it's activated it's created but that's my turn i'm not going anywhere hunker down interpose between bad guys and locks end of turn uh with that this thing is now actively like in your hand i'm gonna just delete these tokens off the map as they're not there right now the good orb. good orb what yeah, a good what orb a, what a good <laughs> little orb uh, <laughs> we love that uh these wraiths will go i think at this point they like move to position a little bit more tactically uh this one just moving in here yeah like this, I think is what's gonna happen. So I'm making an attack against Doc. Straight attack. Ten is a miss. Waka waka. Uh, I'm making an attack against Yana. Naya. Why do I nope. keep doing it? <laughs> well, that person isn't here. No, they are not here. Twenty, Naya. Uh, that hits. You feel the cold of this thing's hand grasp through Ooh. your armor, the cold, like, biting chill sucking in your face. You take 22 points of necrotic damage. you have resistance to necrotic? I don't think I do. Okay. Uh, you take 22 points of necrotic damage. I need a constitution saving throw. And these... Not looking as great. 
No, it's <laughs> a little scary, right? Uh, Constitution saving throw, you said? Mm-hmm. DC 14. Paladin? Oof. Anything Paladin? It's all I had. No, that was it. Anything. Yep. Uh, uh, the professor will uh, will will react with the final charge of the Astromancy Archive and say, stick around, stick around. Uh, and so you get to add to that roll. So add to here. your constitution saving throw, please. Uh, rolling the dice. Is it loading? Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh, wonderful. I didn't want to say right. the odds, but you had such good odds. Oh. Sure <laughs> Naya. Really gonna need that long rest at some point. Your mm -hmm. hit point maximum is temporarily reduced by 22 hit points. Mm -hmm. However, the two wraiths that attack you at advantage, Reg, both roll tens. Uh, and you manage to avoid the icy grip of death as they reach out for you. This last sword wraith, however, will try to stab Naya. 21 hits. Uh, that does hit. For 13 points of slashing damage. Naya's torn up now. Yeah. Uh, Welcome to the yeah. party. Yeah, it's great. Welcome to the party. That's a bunch of wraiths going on for at the end of the round. You guys see materializing slowly back from where it was before. Yes. This big, very frightening looking ghost dragon, uh, which at least now appears to be back in the room with you all. <laughs> <That's> like, <laughs> oh, hey, here, dragon. Here, no, I, sword, yeah. like, oh, that dragon is dead, but it doesn't know it. We have work to do here yet, oh. Swordmaster. <laughs> I think the sword like yells into the room. With that, Lux, you're up, and I think I need a death saving throw. Yeah, yeah. rolling plus my next four. dice. By the way, plus four. It's, it's plus. Ooh, that's four. You get a plus four from me because you're in my range, and it's a like saving throw. That. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Is this a death saving throw? Count as a regular saving throw? Uh -huh. That's interesting. Yep. That's, that's cool. okay. I hadn't thought of that yet. Uh, yeah, it does. Right, I so looked then... it up a while ago. Nice. Yeah. Nope, because I that would have failed, but with the plus four, it succeeds with an eleven. <laughs> Paladin. <Amazing. laughs> I rolled a seven. That is Eight actually your time huge. yet. <sighs> um, Lux still up. The commander is down. Uh, this sword wraith goes. Oops, I already had it just go with the other wraith, so it just went this turn. Doc, you're up. Uh, okay, uh, Doc is going to use her last spell slot to cast a first level Cure Wounds on uh, Lux. Thank you. Uh, it's all she got, though, so no one else can go down. <laughs> yeah, I got nothing either, so we're not in Christian I mean, right now. yeah. Uh, six healing. Thank you. Oh, that's abysmal <laughs> healing. That is minimum healing. Okay, oh, well. Something. Well, the dice. Dice. Uh, so that, and then she will take, uh, uh, will she? Uh, no, she won't, because she's too afraid. Uh, no, Lex is too, too close. Uh, Waffle is going to uh, swing out with his tail at the one in front of him. Uh, not a nat 20. <laughs> Because oh. he doesn't have advantage. Oh. So just 20 oh. <laughs> for nine damage. So that nonetheless one. totally hits as Waffle like hammers into this raid. Uh, Waffle, the Ghostbuster over here. Yeah, he's is just it, whipping it up. Is Waffle to a genius? Wouldn't he have do, 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 do. To, to get uh, I'm sorry, you have six hit points. He is being a strategic I'm... genius by not <laughs> having... <laughs> well, it was like a very active choice. To protect the ranger on the ground. Uh, yeah, don't worry about it. I'm good. Uh, yeah, that's my turn. Doc, that's your turn, Naya. It's also why Doc nine. didn't move to give Naya advantage. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's see. Do protect I... the pilot. <laughs> <laughs> um. Hmm. Let's see. I know what I should probably do to help myself but I don't think Naya would. I think they'd be too 
too, having too much fun fighting. So they're just going to swing instead. Uh, going for the blue guy first. Fighting. Okay, got it. Uh, 12. 12's a miss, uh, unfortunately. Sure. Oh, all right. Another swing. Hmm, we'll love that 28. Oh, well, 20. 20 definitely uh, hits. 14. Uh, you cleave into it. It looks pretty torn up uh, at this point. Like, again, like all this kind of like ectoplasmic spectral energy just like like uh, wafting off of it as you're tearing its form apart. Uh, that's your action. You got movement and a bonus. Uh, don't really think I'm going to do anything else. Okay. Um, yeah, yep, 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 yep. That's it. Which will bring us to the professor. The professor is going to do like a quick spot check. So Lux is on the ground, but having just recovered some hit points, mm -hmm. Doc looks a little gassed, but health wise is like almost full. Naya is looking pretty rough and is surrounded. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. This, this feels harrowing. Yeah, I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, I mean, especially yeah. with, with wraiths. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, the whole, like, oops, if I hate you, you really die thing feels very scary. <laughs> uh -huh. yep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, right, uh, Rich, the orb, mm -hmm. it appears to have all of the charges in it. Mm -hmm. Sure does. And I am capable of wielding it? Yes. Okay. Mr. Wizard, get us the hell out of here. <laughs> I will um, activate the orb mm -hmm. and will cast a spell holding it uh, in the direction of Naya. And I will not release it until the wraiths begin to attack. You're readying a spell to cast on Naya for when the wraiths begin attacking. Okay. That's correct. Got it. Got it. Uh, the wraiths go. And Reg releases the spell. Okay. Surrounding Naya in a resilient sphere. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I figured that's where yeah. you're going. I mean, yeah. yeah. Yes. Uh, as the race do not know what that is, lunge <laughs> for you, Naya. You suddenly you ever seen hear a hamster this, ball? Yes, you hear this sound. Yes. Like, <laughs> and you look up from the ground, and suddenly there's like the sheet of like in, invisible force just like surrounds you in this perfect little globe, like a hamster ball. You're like standing here encased in this Odalux resilient sphere as like the three rays. It's like their hands uh, you know, unable to pass through this barrier that prevents even the insubstantial undead from laying hands on you. So that's Amazing. one, two, three <laughs> attacks uh, completely stopped dead in their tracks. This one does grab for you, Reginald. Mm -hmm. uh, 21. That's rough. Uh, and because because I readied this, yeah. I used my reaction oh, to release yeah. it, Gosh. and I yeah. cannot cast shield. Mm -hmm. uh, Reginald, uh, yep. you, can, you also take 22 points in a crowd. Damn. Damn. I'm, not, I'm not in. I just clicked the wrong button. I'm good. I'm good. 22 <laughs> points. Yep. Uh huh. Yeah, and I need to make a save. constitution saving throw. Yep. And this Easy one peasy. Let's do it. Doc, go for it. 19 yeah, okay you're good. Oh, yeah. you take the necrotic nice damage, work. but you maintain your hit point maximum this one grabbing for doc 24 doc finally injured that gets you doc 24 uh yeah even shield would give me to 23 so yep wow 28 god oh, doc i need a constitution Sleeper. save <laughs> Oh. Yeah. We are rolling yeah, shit, and some... they are rolling just gold. Fungicals, dude. Uh, yeah, let me do some math. Uh, okay, twenty-three. I also oh, so my hit point make... maximum isn't reduced. I had already. No. 
Yeah. A, okay, never I mind. also need to make a concentration check on the resilient sphere, I'm assuming. Uh, you do, yeah. It just allows you to cast the spells. It's not actively holding them, so go for <laughs> it. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Uh, is that a constitution saving throw? Yes. It is, but it no magical count. effects can release out of the sphere. Oh, but it... Wait, Into what? or out of the sphere, right? Yeah, but it's just his aura, like just being in in Naya's presence. This isn't a magical effect. I'm going to apply this one. I think the DM's paladin aura. Yeah, I think the paladin aura penetrates the sphere because it's not like they're casting something at you as a reaction. It's just like basking their in their awesomeness. Yeah, yeah. or their lack of God. <laughs> <laughs> just Love pure it. devotion. Okay, uh, in which case I succeed. Okay, okay, we'll give it to you. I think I think that's fair. I don't think I'm reaching too far for that one. Um That was all the race. <laughs> Locks you up. Oh, buddy. Is, is the dragon did the dragon do anything by the oh, way? Oh no, no, no. At the end of the round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mentioned the thing to go before Lux like, did. Did the dragon do anything? <laughs> the dragon's just like, hi guys. It's, I'm just the she, watcher. She, I'm just here sorry. to observe what happens. I don't interfere. I you so dope, up. though. I would help you if I weren't dead. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, We're about to be dead, you bastard. <laughs> no, she's lovely. The, the conversation we had with her was really great. <laughs> I will say. So fun. Yeah, okay, so she, like, steps in here next to you, this, like, ghost dragon looming down <laughs> over the lot of you, like... <laughs> emits this wafting blast of just vapor uh, almost like it's like blasting its own kind of like body essence out this green kind of like spectral mist tearing through uh, Naya is still inside the resilient sphere is that correct? I mm -hmm. am I am yeah then fuck it we can blast everybody over here I think it <laughs> I think it like <laughs> just drops the breath happen right on top of you Naya there's like this moment where you're like whoa where like the gas starts like rolling over the edges of like the clear <laughs> gumbo right um to that's which so cool. oh my gosh that's so cool um what is it doing here okay yeah that's actually not as much damage as i would have hoped but we'll take it oh. uh 47 <laughs> points of damage i will roll for all these guys uh what dc else? 21 <laughs> yeah <laughs> It's oh, legit. one of them actually passed. <laughs> it's a legit ghost dragon. Okay, so 23 points of damage on this first one. All the rest take full damage as, like, the ghostly vapor uh, just, like, surging over them. This sword wraith is destroyed. Uh, got it. What did I say? 47? 47. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Uh, they are taking full damage from it because ghost stuff locks. You're up on 23. Oh, and it doesn't kill them. We're so screwed. <laughs> I know. Okay, so wait, 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 wait. Okay, Rick, I need to know what Naya's sword, how Naya's sword responded to that <laughs> field <laughs> of attack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, while you're inside the bubble, I think that you hear uh, Naya, like the sword is just like, once we're done with this lesser minions, we will strike this dead dragon back to a death. Can you imagine it does not realize it is this? Oh, defend yourself, sword keeper! I think <laughs> like roars. And I think all of you from the other side are just hearing a... Yes. <laughs> you know? <laughs> um, and then I think after like the breath comes, it's like, wait, uh, is this dragon fighting on our side? Oh, not all dragons, I guess. Have I ever told you of the time that I was born into battle on the back of the great silver worm? Okay, well, yeah, there will be time for that later. We will discuss it. Presuming we don't die, or at least I don't. Yes. No, Sword Keeper, you will not die. We have many more marks to tally in our time yet. Let's hope so. In the meantime, uh, this sphere is pretty cozy. 
Yes, it's actually rather convenient for you. Excellent. Uh, Lux, you're laying on the ground. You're <laughs> yeah. really hurt, but you're in a pool of your own blood. You, however, having cast your bow on the ground over here, when you like ran over and drew weapons, I think that you just like turn rolling over and you see like the black wood of the bow, the vicious face on it. Like, you're a fool. You're a fool. You cannot fight the dead. With your she weapon. grabs it and like covers its mouth with it. I'll leave. Vengeance. Uh, uh, watch her out. What would you like to do? Yeah, she's grabbing. I know what it feels like for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lux is grabbing Kadras. Um, and uh, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I just so, went to open the handout for both of them, and I looked in NPCs and was like, oh yeah, no, 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 right? They're not NPCs. They're, <laughs> they're not NPCs. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so is it true that uh, are they like immune to frightened or are they frightened of this dragon? They're um, immune to being frightened. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So they're not paralyzed then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. As you are looking, you can see these two further back ones. It's almost like the ghostly breath, like really obliterated them. Most of their, like the mass of their form has been destroyed. Okay, I think then let's go for this like kind of one in the center. Okay. Um, first with Kadras, uh, bonus action planar warrior. Mm -hmm. Nineteen hits. Great. For seventeen. For okay. Uh, the arrow like shredding, ripping through it. Got it. Uh, okay. I guess second arrow, try and take it out. 23, 23 hits. 10 meds. For another 10. All of them, all these three down here are looking like badly badly Limits. torn apart shredded uh though they all three still linger down here lux that was your action your bonus action you get some movement uh i think she's gonna stay in the protective circle <laughs> stay in the circle, stay in the uh, circle. <laughs> this is uh not like more... naya has a choice yeah really <laughs> this is more like a geometric pattern that's lux's turn bringing us to doc you're up on 13 doc okay uh doc's player uh realized that she was being a dum-dum and so doc is going to move over to and attack this one at advantage doc's player is under a lot of pressure to keep everybody alive so uh, don't sweat <laughs> <laughs> you're all good as doc 21 leaps to the side 21 that hits this wraith is destroyed as doc yeah. like lunges around this stone the axe like flashing one wraith battered to nothing uh and then doc can move down here uh at the edge of her movement, but just gets there uh, to attack this one. 27. And Doc does it again. Uh, Doc's nice. world tour. As you come like, racing around the corner, striking the first one, tearing it into so much shadowy uh, mist. The second, the axe like cleaving down over it. They are both gone. So I just picked the one with the most health. <laughs> yeah, you absolutely did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, not to be outdone, Waffle's gonna fly over here. Uh, mm -hmm. An attack at advantage. Come on, Waffle. Come Genius. On, Waffle. Another 20. Oh, close. That, no. that would have been close. Very much hits for 11 points of force damage <laughs> as uh, Waffle like circles around in front of you, Reg, hammering down into this wraith. Uh, and I think he just does like a little like spin and so that the tail like lashes out at the end of it. Hell yeah. yeah. The like the rolling it's been, uh, like, aerial barrel roll kind of. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Mecha dragon attacks. Doc, that's your action bonus action movement. That's it. Yeah. That's Naya, it. you are up. I don't think I can do anything. I'm in the sphere. Yeah, you are trapped in sphere. Uh, you're just, I think that the sword is like, tell your friend to release us. We are the most uh, dangerous weapon out here. I, I think you hear from inside. Uh, <laughs> you can do stuff like in the sphere, right? You just can't yes. do anything that has to leave the sphere. You yeah. can use your action to roll the sphere. That's so fun. <laughs> At so half fun. speed. Would I? Would it I uses roll your action speed? and is at half speed. <laughs> Does it do damage? It, can you like no, try to crush no, a wraith with a oh, That would be so fun. No, just to move like, uh, back up nope. and then. 
No, really yeah, I think well is it mashes grapes really effectively. It's a great wine. Oh. It's just like Atlas Sphere, you're like the retired <laughs> wizard, like just gets in their resilience sphere. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I think Naya just uh to the wraith in front of them, um, just takes Ein Reeve and like puts Ein Reeve in the ground for a moment and then goes like this and is just like <laughs> 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 That's their turn. <laughs> Not all orbs. Not all orbs. Uh, Not all spears. Professor, yeah. you're up on six. Incredible. Uh, I have been thinking for the last ten minutes what to do on this turn. I'm just. Gonna oh wait, like... hang on a second. Change that. Mm -hmm. I'm holding wait an action. Me. Okay. There you go. I am holding an action in case the spear drops. Or spear okay. drops. Ah, you got it. Yes. Brace. What are you holding? I'm in an attack. <laughs> yeah, okay. So you're literally just like there with the spear. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm playing baseball. They're like just, flipping the sword, yeah. I know we're like, you know, we're going through combat. It's very high, heightened, all this. I just want to like just really quick stat check, right? Arcane recovery, zero. Clockwork amulet, zero. Pearl of power, zero. Power search, zero. Astromancy archive, zero. Yep. Fourth level spells, zero. Third level spells, zero. Second level spells, zero. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I have done it. I yeah. have found how many licks it takes to get to the center of a fifth edition <laughs> D&D character. First level spells. <laughs> first level spells, three. <laughs> uh, so... We should use one of those, right? Um, no, I'm actually going to hold on hold, hold on to that. Uh, but the problem is it's none of these spells help me. I have failed miserably in my preparation. Um, okay. I can't do that. I can't do that. I'm sorry, folks. Uh, Myriad Orb. Nope. Not going to help me to comprehend languages at this point. <laughs> oh, maybe not right now. Yeah. The telepathic um, bond is at least fun. Oh, true, yeah. I think that I will use my action to help. Uh, I will use I will use my action to uh, help Lux uh, with targeting this wraith and to say that what. <laughs> <laughs> And that's my turn. <laughs> that one. <laughs> I think Lux actively looks at Reggie like. <laughs> <laughs> like still like. Oh, like, like, just like... <laughs> it's like she's already got the bow pulled back. <laughs> yeah, right. Just so shot at it twice. At it. There's yeah. nothing that else one. on the board. That one. Do, do that. that one, please. <laughs> that one. Okay. Meanwhile, uh, after Reg's turn, I think that uh, the gatekeeper, Olin Eriks, is just like, like looms down and is going to attack that one that Reg points. Reg is like, that oh. one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, think, I think the ghost dragon just ate this one whole. <laughs> Holy. At which point it does 50, 50 points of damage. To the <laughs> and Jess is like, and I think that then it turns looking down at the ground at you, Lux, like, maybe that one. I think, okay. is it <laughs> so one on the other side of Reg? Uh, With DM's discretion, can I go, okay, maybe that one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. You absolutely Incredible. can. Uh, it then like wow. will shift a little bit and is going to uh, like lunge out with the claw. Uh, both claws like oh cleaving gosh. down. Yeah, those both hit. Uh, great, got it. It like cleaves into the second one. It destroys the one wraith like a single snapping of its spectral jaws on top of the wraith, and like so much shadowy mist kind of like emerges out of the ghostly teeth. It steps around like ripping down into the last of these wraiths surrounding the room. And with that, its turn is over. Lux, you are up on twenty three. What would you like to do? I think wide-eyed Lux goes from being like, what the hell, Reg, to like <laughs> turning your bow like <laughs> a little shaky like to the other one is going to fire. 
Um, is it at advantage or not at advantage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have help. Yep. So okay. it's at advantage. Great. Uh, bonus action, planar warrior. Hits. 24. 11. For 11 points of damage. Uh, second attack. Mm hmm. What? Go ahead, roll damage, Lex. It's not twenty though, right? Because I only. Yeah, it's not. But we're just gonna yeah. assume it is because it only have five hit points left, and <laughs> just like that, Lux, you like raise the bow and you just hear like, "Let them taste your vengeance." As you <laughs> like release the arrow, rips through the last of these wraiths, uh, which is like blasted into so much shadow essence behind you. And there's naught but the sound of all of you breathing heavily. The muffled shouts of the sword from inside the resilience field. <laughs> oh, <there's something> <laughs> uh, 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 what do you guys want to do? I think Lux like sits down. Uh, uh, yeah, I felt now better. definitely like uh, signaling like to the, to the sphere. <laughs> Slightly. <laughs> Uh, I think immediately Reginald like starts like fumbling around inside of his uh, pockets to see if he has any sort of like healing potion, which he does not <laughs> appear Don't to. Don't waste. Listen, we'll Did just it... go to bed. Don't worry about it. I'll be right it. back, you guys. I'm just going to hit the bathroom real quick. You guys just roll up. I'll be right back. I Did mean, you, can we just you... go to bed? We're on like a meteor going through space. There's some bed. There's some beds upstairs. Um, did you drop you the sphere or no? Though. Not, not yet. Not until, okay. uh, not until he knows it's safe. I mean, I don't know that there is any, unless uh, Naya still has lay on hands. I don't know if there's any healing available. Yeah, we have. There is. I don't drop know. the sphere. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> like, like Reg, like just takes a moment and like looks at Naya and it's like, once I drop it, I cannot bring it back. That's fine. <sighs> huh. uh. Uh, I think uh, Naya first walks over or leads. If I may, I think box. if Richard were here, he would say immediately the sword goes, Let me at him. Let <laughs> it right there. I couldn't put it down. <laughs> Relax. Are you, are you take <laughs> um, a breath. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Naya would lean over and pat Lux on the shoulder, and say, um, "Hey, good work out there. Uh, try not to go down so much, though." And cast uh, Cure Wounds at level two, expending their final <laughs> oh my uh, spell goodness. slot. Thank you, thank you. Um, what wow. is that? Two d eights plus spell casting. Mm -hmm. yeah. Goodness. Please be something good. Ah, uh, decent. Ten plus what? Fourteen. Okay. Nice. I'll take it. And you then uh, before we came, we started this episode. <laughs> and then, uh, and then, uh, upon being free from the sphere and giving cure wounds to Lux, uh, Naya's gonna look over at Reggie. And like stumble over and then <laughs> give them a kiss on the cheek and <gasps> say thanks and then fall over. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, oh Reg's cheeks are even more pink than normal. And then Ooh. his eyes widen in like shock and fear at how bad of a state we're in. <laughs> I think Lux also like touches her forehead and like says in everybody's mind, like, can you guys hear me? Yeah. Uh, you're a lot yes. quieter than usual. Wow, that's so crazy. <laughs> it's just like the sending stump. It's like in my head. Oh, and I think immediately, been... like, Reg, like, turns and remembers there's a giant ghost dragon behind him that just chomped through a whole bunch of people. Yeah, gee, thanks for that. And I think it's at this Probably moment that thumbs up. you guys hear the voice from the ground next to Nia like, Hail, dead worm! You are departed from the realms of the living, but yet you endure! Know me, for I am Einreve, scale piece are forged in the city of Sigil by Zorin the Smith. I 
have been borne by Gedral's strike across the plains. I have lain low ten great worms throughout the ages. But I sense no evil in you. Are you friend? Or must I give you the final gift of death through the hand of the great sword master? Uh, and you. by the way, Einreve is just stuck in the floor. <laughs> and Naya is like <laughs> lying on the ground. <laughs> My wielder is weary, and yet they will rise to the occasion should we choose it. And I think that I'd the really prefer is... not. I'd really rather not. <laughs> and the ghost is like, looks from the sword back to you, like, um, I have no evil. I hold no hate for your living bodies. You have broken the pattern which has played out here across time. Take your rests. Your bodies seem battered. Wounded. You think? Uh-huh. Yeah. I don't even want to do anything right now, which is <laughs> very unusual. But uh, thank you for helping. We were a little worried when you went away for a minute there in the beginning. This form is limited. I have been kept here for too long but learned to make the most of it. Things are inhabitable if I focus hard enough. With that key, you may change the attunement of the portals above. <gasps> Is there a way to help you pass on? Rest, get peace. Do we have and to like think... carry your bones or something? <laughs> I think that the, the the ghostly dragon, like lingering eyes on like the orb and and the ring that Reg is holding, like turns. Then, as you say this, Doc and like Naya, you like call to the bones, and it looks back at them, like, "No, these bones hold no power over me anymore." You have done the first part. The barriers holding us here prevented transition. And that, I think it gestures towards the ring. That is my burden. To place it in your hands frees me of great obligation which has held me in these realms beyond my death the forging of these very portals was facilitated by the spilling of my blood in the hands of those who would unweave all that is made all that the worlds are it was a weight too great to bear living, one I could not release even on death. But should you take this mantle, carry this key, bear it as your task, I believe I can move on. That's a lot of responsibility. <laughs> Yes, I I think we shall have to discuss it. We do. You've done more for yeah, wait, me in these moments than any living soul I have known in a very long time. You may rest and gather yourselves. <clears throat> I assure you, no more danger will find you here. That's reassuring. It was in fact going to be my first question. Well, was with hope you are safe here. Uh, what exactly? Uh, sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't want to just. Uh, what do we need to have a discussion about? Because like we need to take the orb with us. Yeah, and like you know, portals. 
No, it is simply the case that um, it appears as though we are making some sort of obligation, some sort of commitment with doing so, and I, I simply would want to be sure that we are all, including those of our party that are not with us, and of whom we have not heard report in some time. Well, uh, that we are all on the, on the same page, as they say. I'm all for freeing Dragon Boy over here, but does one of us have to stay here with this just, key? We just have to take it with us. No. What, what if someone else no? gets it? What if someone gets a hold of this? If we take it from here and we go traveling to who knows where, dealing with who knows what. I'm so confused. We are already traveling with powerful orbs and we've taken this on as our mission. What is the question? Yeah, I and understand. I mean like, is for somebody to take it with us, uh, we would have to not be total badasses. So I don't really get the problem. That was a very impressive display of prowess. I feared that I would not be the last lingering ghost in this place when they set upon you. I realize my yeah, presence right. is looming. I will grant you your space. I uh, not... just before you do, before, would you please just, just answer a few more brief questions and then we perhaps may rest? Of course. I merely wish to provide you the space needed to speak freely. Oh no, I with all due respect, I feel quite comfortable speaking freely in front of you. And should I not, I believe we have means of communicating to one another now that we did not before. No, my question was simply, uh, and I think he like points over at the kind of like gemmed area and like did you say that there was like some sort of like structure over here? Yes. So this large uh like purple geode kind of rising up out of the ground has been carved to resemble a throne, a seat, a helm of a spell yeah. jammer, perhaps. And I think like Reg will just be like that. Does that uh, provide helm for the asteroid? Yes. I can sit in that. But only with the sphere oh. and the ring. It is. <laughs> I think, like Reg grabs key. the sphere. It's like looks at Lux. <laughs> yeah, like Lux like sits on her hands. <laughs> I think that that she replies back. Um, the orb was forged from my once living heart. The ring fabricated from rare metals gathered in many planes and planets. Their means were slow. They never completed their process before the nihilists turned. And when Dati began the killing, it all fell apart. None have ever guided this place with intention, but those items were fabricated to allow it to be controlled as such. I know little of you small folks, vessels, and ships, but I do understand that these devices are attuned to one another such that a competent captain could guide this vessel with intention. Well, I guess that's a solution to the problem. If we worried about leaving the asteroid, we just take the asteroid with us. Oh man, are we gonna have to rename ourselves? Are we no longer the dragonfly? No, 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 also, you can be whatever you want, remember? I would never name. We're the Dragon Flight Crew. What um, is the tugboat? Good uh, question. A thing I saw once on <laughs> some, some adventure with the Tamfay Guild. 
No, we <laughs> where the Tampa go. Uh, we have them with the with yeah. Parents. Yeah, we have little ones on the Peregrine <laughs> all the time. They like kind of you know they help get you into like port and stuff or like you know it's really kind of oh. crazy because they're like these little things that kind of pull the big big things. Like gnomes. Like if a gnome was to pull something really big, then yeah, it would be exactly the same. Yeah. Hmm. I should like to see one of those at some point. I've usually right. seen them on the water, not uh I guess space is like water, so Wait, so you do know what they are? We're just Well, not in this context. The ones I knew were on uh little ships in, in the water back in Glarendar. I've seen them. On the shores of Clarendor. My travels. <laughs> well, lots of places. What is damn? What is the name of that uh, seaside city? Sea with of the Falling e? Stars. Escalon. 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 Thank you. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Saw one in a place called Escalon once. What a flashback to the Bell of the Scott PVP. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, there we oh, go. Throwback. Uh, hey, you know, I, I don't think I've ever actually been on the water. I've only only sailed in the sky. It's really fun until the water starts attacking you. Whoa. Yeah, I yeah. guess so that, that it's the same. Yeah. Shark like creatures attack you in your sleep whilst resting upon an island covered. Yeah, that was awful. Surrounded by water. That was yeah. Speaking I of. I remember the first time I drank water. It was very wet. Well, Thank see, you this is an interesting for... discussion. <laughs> is water wet? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> This I'm tired. Too, Naya, this, this, this sort of banter. Um, Look, I'm very tired and very injured. I think it is essential that we reconvene with our ship and our companions. I know that, that there has been concern about what else may be occurring there, but um, I, I don't, I don't. I'm, I'm not thinking clearly. There's more blood spilt in this place than I've seen in quite some time. All right, we don't need to talk about how much blood I lost, okay? It's embarrassing. Was it? It's embarrassing. It's, 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 a, it's a marvelous, heroic event, the sort of thing that epics are written about. Your friends are deeply dedicated to sustaining your life. It was an admirable thing to see. That's why we're a crew. That's why we're the best crew in the whole galaxy. It's I mean, life without life. Plus, we would it's never normal. be able to fly out of here. Edgy, what is you're being such a negative Nancy right now, you know? What are here, you we are being, not I a crew without a ship. Our situation. ship. We know where our ship is, and we have a freaking where, 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 asteroid where, that we where, can go wherever where, we want. Where? Where? Point in the direction of our ship. I already tried what that, and I, I don't what, know where we are because I don't have my proper tools. Uh huh. Yes. But we Hello. literally have an asteroid that we can change the portals. What do you... This feels like a... I can't... Words. Yeah, f fine. Look, yes. Sleep. Uh, some some rest and 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 there are uh, there are more things that at least I can do in order to help determine where we are and where we, where we must go. Yeah, me too, probably. Um, but... I, I agree that we should probably take a long rest, quite quite a long one, before quite, quite. determining anything in our current state of mind. And especially, I reiterate, taking a long one before stumbling elsewhere into this asteroid and finding more things that could nearly kill us. Yeah, so I can't believe I'm saying any of this, one, honestly. Nothing but... Nice. <laughs> uh, do we... Did we establish sending stone stuff? Is there? Yeah, and on the dragonfly. One, and there Rhea is. Did yes, talk Rhea to has us. one. Yes. Yeah. Rhea there was like did. a scary Great. moment where Rhea was like, yeah. "Oh, there are actual ghosts on the ship." There's a ghost. We there, were right? joking, right. but there are ghosts. So we should probably check in and then sure. long rest. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. You guys could check it with Rhea. Yeah. Yeah. Rhea. Twenty-five <laughs> words available. <laughs> and is this is this the D, &D equivalent of you up? 
this is luck with six hit points. Okay. Raya! Exactly. Raya! 25 syllables to say, Raya. Raya. Uh, Lux, you yell into the sending stone. I don't like that at all. <laughs> ah, shisa. Also, what did she say? There was nothing. I had a okay. Don't be, you guys don't be hear cocky anything. in this moment, buddy. Oh, what? Uh, it's I, on no, speaker. Be... It's always on speaker. I don't know how to turn it the other way. I apologize. I am not intending to be sassy. You're being sassy. You are being sassy. Why why did we both arrive upon the same word at the same time? <laughs> because you're being sassy, obviously. It was the most fitting word. You know, I I know that we don't talk about it a lot, but we've been traveling together for a decently long time. And I would consider you all some of my best friends. Doc takes a little bit of precedent, but we're friends. Good friends. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. And and so friends, like, sometimes know what the other friend is going to say. And we're also, aren't we, like, actually, like, mentally linked right now? <laughs> Naya replies and everyone said, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. <laughs> Sassy. I'm sorry I have little else to offer. I imagine there aren't. <laughs> No food nor water is here for you, and I know these things are important with your small and fleeting forms, but I can ensure at least that no more spirits of the vengeful dead will haunt us. Well, okay, but the rest. Upstairs. I passed them. I mean, but if Rhea's in trouble, I feel like we have to figure out how to get to her. Well, yeah, Raiden an answer. Try, try Ben. Ben. I mean, it's on sending stone. <laughs> yeah, it's on. I, well, the assumption could be if it's on speaker and Raiden an answer. Maybe Ben can hear it. No answer from Ben. Ben. Okay. Okay. Wait. Wait. Seed. All right. Try. Ask. Try. Ask. Ask. <laughs> ask. <laughs> Ask. You guys are calling into the sending stone and getting no replies. Nor Ben, nor Ask, nor Seed the talking plant. I'm aware that we are oh, all in oh, no. a fair bit of pain. Um, yeah, but if Ray is in trouble, exactly, I, you know, I think it we could have be to something go, yeah. interesting. Naya slowly getting up and pulls Iron Reeve out from the ground. Is like, okay, up up the stairs. Let's let's go. It could be something real fun. Who knows? Can we maybe... like sit for a second? Just a second. Maybe they're at a party. Maybe they threw a party, and that's why no one's answering. Maybe there's cake. As Naya's yeah, what like time is it? I don't the know. Ladder. Uh, also question, Rich. Mm -hmm. I know before I made a check to find out where we were in space, right? Mm -hmm. And you gave me the benefit of my natural explorer. Mm -hmm. But so one of the things about natural explorer is that I can't get lost. Mm -hmm. Lost in space? <laughs> I can't get you can't lost. can't get lost in space? <laughs> You're not lost, you know, right where you are. We just don't know how to get back to where Rhea is. Well, we didn't. I don't th like. We didn't. I think I feel like. Yeah, that's true. You didn't know where you were. Okay, so so let's just like Can slow it down a little bit. Order yeah. of operations here. You're trying to like go back upstairs to clarify exactly where you are. Yes. Okay. Mm, you are as you go back upstairs and you sit and you take a minute and you're staring up without like the um above like kind of protective layer you have this kind of clear view up into the stars and you get the impression that you are like somewhere in the like uh triangulation area between kind of um I'm sorry, I'm just double checking myself. Yeah, between Zeph, Mizire, and Karasaren. You're on like the far kind of like southern end of like Ben's map, ultimately. 
Oh, okay. Very far away. Huh. Uh, okay. Wait, um, wait, can we wait. Use wait. one of the portals did it, that we yeah. can. Yeah, did right it Dragon say that, like, that orb and yes. circle controls the portals? Can't we be like, take us to the dragonfly and click our heels three times? And I don't can know. Can you change it, Reg? In. Can you change it? I cannot say for certain what I can or cannot do. I can simply say for certain what what I would wish not to do. Which is... I'm <sighs> almost dead. You really need to... <laughs> not <laughs> fucking riddles. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, fine. If we step into a combat, we all die. Yeah. 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 If that's we right, stay right, here, that's, that's there every is a combat. possibility that Rhea and Ben die. Yeah, Rhea could be dying right now. Or the perhaps portals, they are already dead. The portals lead to fixed locations. There are threads, conduits that cover the sphere, as it were. Connections, passages, movement through astral space, the realm of spirits, there's, sometimes the shadow fell itself. There's got to be not, one to the halls of the sign out then. It's it not as simple as choosing a place you wish to go. You may only go to the places it can send you. The halls of the Synod. Well, you can get close, I imagine. Okay. If you seek to return to Rune, there is a way from here. But I would not wish you to throw your lives away. If your friends are half so competent as you are, might you not trust they weather their difficulties as you do? I would until she didn't answer. Fear is dangerous <clears throat> and useful when, in equal parts. When I try again, so this time I yell really loud. <laughs> Lux. It, it, it is possible that they are. I don't know. I don't know. All right, I'm not are hearing they... any of that. Are they <laughs> Ow. Bang! Oh, and it rings in the ears. <coughs> Blood. <coughs> okay. Um, you continue <laughs> yelling through, Alux. I don't hear anything back. Yeah. Oh. Okay. This is what they would say in the military books is a moment of truth. Mm. Do we rebuild our faculties, take a long rest? Do we Take a breather, perhaps regain some vitality, then charge forward. Or do we barrel ahead with almost no resources to bring to bear, but simply our will? What say you? I don't mean to have trapped you guys. I, the dungeon master, will contribute to you players. If I understand this is a difficult decision, I'm sorry if I'm like... Uh, it, it's yeah. fine. Yeah. Um, I think Naya would just say, well, if you, asked, if you asked me, if you asked one version of me, I probably would have gone on dying. If you asked another version of me, I would have probably rested, got my faculties together, gone into battle with strategic plan. Uh, another version, hell, might have run away. Me, I flip a coin. Can I offer something? What if we just rest for a minute, and then I try again, and if nothing, nothing, then we go. By a minute, do you mean an hour? 
Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just rest for A 60 minutes. <laughs> One hour. Right. Yeah, yeah, I can wait an hour. Okay. We rest for one hour. We try again. And then, if nothing, we go. We go. And okay. depending on the something, we might also go. Yes. Like if Freya comes right. on and is like, help me, we're dying, get here quick. Then no, yeah, in that situation, we've like... committed to a long rest. <laughs> Before we rest, should we just get ready to... Should you try and maybe focus on the thing, Reg, and tune to Rune? Yeah, see if we even can go. We also will have to come back here so I can fly this asteroid. I just want to put that out there. I'm going to need to do that at some point in my life. Yes. It appears we'd be taking the key to the ship with us. Mm -hmm. um, yes. I, I apologize. I, it is, I find it very difficult to... Yes, uh, I, I shall uh, attempt to attune this to Rune. Can we talk to the orb? Does the orb have a voice? Hello? <laughs> <laughs> You're muted, Rich. You're muted, Rich. <laughs> 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 I didn't know. I was like, the orb has no voice. The orb has no voice. The orb has no voice. Uh, I think so. Where do you have it, Reg? Where are you holding it? Um, t tell tell me, like, it is like I in my mind affixed the ring around the orb mm -hmm. and then affixed it onto a staff. Oh, did you like plug it onto a staff? Like, yeah, yeah, plug yeah. it onto a staff so that it's like cool. held like a staff. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think like. I think actually at this point, like as like Lux is asking this question and talking to it, I think he would like hold it out in her direction. As you as as Reginald like extends it out towards you, you see this like myriad of like almost like nebulas like moving inside of it, the shifting of stars. There's this familiarity to all of it, Lux. And as like Reg like kind of gestures it over towards you, I think you see it like forming up, giving you the like vision of like the eye like looking back at you from inside. Hi. Uh, it does not say anything in response. I think like the eye almost like shrinks back a little bit into like the shadows and then like comes a little bit further again, like looking, you know. Hi. Uh I'm Lux. I think Lux also like is like trying to like say it in her mind to the orb, mm -hmm. knowing mm -hmm. that they're like things. Um Yeah, are you okay? I just kind of uh, moved you. You have uh, this sense of like a uh, reaction back from you of uncertainty, uh, though no words that you hear in your mind. You don't hear like words articulated, but you have like a sense back from it of like uncertainty, confusion. Oh, do you guys feel that? Can you guys feel that? Uh, yeah, Naya walked over and like pets the orb. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> um the, yeah there's this like impulse of almost fear to then like reassurance uh, as oh. i was like petting it a little bit yeah I think waffle like, cool. flies up very curiously waffle can you hear us waffle yeah <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> So much has happened today. Oh my goodness. Oh, man. I mean, you I've did really great out there, Waffle. A long time, and you just never responded. Oh, gosh. Waffle, well, so sorry. Wait, does does Doc talk to you? Yeah, she tries. <laughs> Reggie looks over at Doc. 
<laughs> I think they've always had their like own like hot and chewy situation <laughs> own type of like gestures and whistles and whatever but uh, I think she's a bit like I don't know what's going on like <laughs> Waffle has become this thing that she like no longer understands uh and so this is just like an, yet another revelation of <laughs> of him wow um uh yeah uh we don't know the name of this orb the other ones have names or at least I, acronyms you guys have actively like not shooed the dragon away right you're just kind of like asking to say out with you yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. We're, we're we, 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 we don't we don't want to keep you here if you've got somewhere to go or like people <laughs> to see. You know, <laughs> I think that um, she the dragon like replying. Lynn Erix is just like um, I am tethered to this place, though I feel the bonds weakening. I do right, not right, wish right. to put any pressure. I would not burden you with more than you have done. If it is my task to remain, then I shall. This no, no, no. We're taking yeah. the thing. We're taking the orb. That creation was not completed. Yeah. It. I think that at this point, Lyric's like kind of gestures as you guys are all up on like the portal level, the upper floor of the asteroid. And there are these chains like extending out to like these big, huge kind of crystals levitating on the edge. And I think that she begins to like explain to you that um, as we move across the stars, there is much energy emitted from all energy of other worlds, other planes, the light of creation, the fire of destruction, heat, cold, all of this is gathered, collected. The orb, as you call it, was polished down from what was removed, what once kept me alive. It was affixed to the pedestal below to gather to grow in strength through what was collected across the ambient life of the stars. It is not akin to those you may have known from the past. Its purpose, if there was one intended by its creators is unknown to me, its function more so. I know merely it has sat entombed in that closed space with mm -hmm. the specter of my past and those of my foes for all these years. Well, be okay with us now. I think Lux like, looks back at the orb. Take I care thought, of that orb, Reg. I thought perhaps that it was intended <laughs> to find others of its kind to detect those ancient constructions of the library, those with power and those merely with knowledge. The cynics were deeply concerned with the orbs in their collection, amongst other things. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay. So it, so it doesn't really have a name? Uh, yeah, the ghost dragon shrugs at you. I realize it's a very silly sentence to say. <laughs> it's like, it's just like, hey, uh, but the the doll could repeat it six six words. Yeah, that's very <laughs> true. It's very true. So maybe this one would help us find other ones. Is that what that means? Maybe. Okay. That would be really helpful. Well, um, I believe this is what people call a win-win. Yeah. So uh, as you guys, you guys I was go gonna say, if it. you guys look over, uh, Naya is asleep. <laughs> uh, yeah, once now. you all started talking, <laughs> yeah, 
once once you all started talking about like lore and myth and history, they passed out. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. As you look at the sleeping form of your friend, as they sit like perched up against one of the walls, asleep, napping on the floor, like where you left them before. I guess my question for you is, what do you guys want to do? You want to hunker down and take a short rest? I know. Uh, we doing that and then regrouping. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna, I guess so. I think Lux <laughs> just like kind of like probably at the like the half hour mark and the at the end of the short rest, she'll scream into the sending stone again. Okay, you scream into the sending stone. What do you say? Just one one word again. Oh, like, is, I, I think, dude, don't even get me started. So I think that Lux is like, um, I think like at first she yells and then I think like uh, her voice calms down a little bit and she's like, hey, are you guys there? Can you please somebody answer? Hello? Is anybody there? Hello? Hello? Uh, hey, hi, hello, it's me, it's old Ben. It's not Ray, I've got the sending so we got a situation. Ben, what is going on? They're not in Cerulean anymore, Lux. I know. I'm not sure what happened. Those dragonflies swerved the ship and then there was something in here and C told me that something came down. Ben, <sighs> Ben, you gotta, you gotta just like slow it down. Oh, wait, can I just keep casting this again and again? That seems like an incredible <laughs> oversight. I'm not sure why I would have a 25-word limit if I could just... Oh, hey, it's me again. I'm back. Uh, listen, Ray is all right. I think that she'll be fine. She just needs to sleep it off. What happened? Oh, my gosh. I mean, there was a whole... We're resolving it. What? No, don't worry. We've We've got it all in hand, she says. Okay, so are you still at the halls of the Synod? No. Where are you? I think that... What? <laughs> We're not sure. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> There's some reason to believe that perhaps we're in the spirit realm. What? <laughs> 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 I was not expecting that. I wasn't either. What? Ben, what do you mean? And Lux, this is on speaker. Like Lux is holding this like in the middle. We're pretty of the sure it's not a ghost in the ship. Don't worry about it. We thought it was ghosts because there were things falling off the shelves. And, but we think it's actually just a, a little creature that got in here. So maybe a stowaway or something. I'm sure you know about all that. But anyway, uh, it kind of reminds me of, of the Island of Ghosts. Uh, because outside the ship, there's a, a lot of incorporeal spirits kind of following us around. So we're just flying, uh, but I think we're going to be all right. Uh, okay. Um, y'all do have the ship. Uh, so yeah, do you need that? A little bit, but you guys also have access to the ship, which you can like find a path. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, we talked about that, but Ray is trying to chase down this cat or whatever it is that got in here. So as soon as she's done, I, I mean, you never really taught me exactly how to fly this thing. We then do not do, fly this ship. We were supposed to do the barrel roll exercises, but we never really. All right, well, we're not doing that, and I'm not there, so you cannot get into that seat, okay? Right, well, that's why we're just kind of flying in a straight that's line while funny. Ray empties the pantry. Did you know how much cheese Jake had hidden You're in there? You're flying it's right crazy. Now? What? You're flying right now and nobody in the helm. Yeah. Then <laughs> rule number one is you shut it off. Okay, okay. Out. So what should we do? <laughs> All right. If you if you if you guys are fine, that's great. Cause we're really beat up. Uh we met a ghost dragon. We're on an asteroid in the middle of space with a bunch of portals on it that we can control. Um, we found another orb and where we all nearly died. Well, you're doing a heck of a lot worse than us. I mean, we just got surrounded by those glowy dragonflies, and then everything got a little thin, and then the rodent got on board. It might be a lizard. I thought it might have been a lizard. There are a lot of reptiles in that you jungle. Remember Trazu? Trazu is a lizard, folks. No, no, that guy is great. He's with you, isn't he? No. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. Well, uh, hey, listen, uh, Ray is calling me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got to go help, I think. 
Yeah, if you guys are good, that's great news. What's that? Bring a broom and a bucket? Do we have a bucket on the ship anywhere? Yeah. Yep. In the engine room. Okay. Legit okay. thought that you did not say bring a broom, and instead you said bring a dude. And I was like, what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> it's bring a dude. Yeah. Oh, y'all heard it. Uh, did you just halfway into our short rest? Yeah. <laughs> you shouted and woke us up. <laughs> you like totally like. You don't have to be napping. You don't have to be sleeping. I mean, I was. I yeah, guess. yeah. What, 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 I think what, something uh, Lux is. Yeah, Naya, Naya Lux grabbed is this like, where? What, uh, where's where? What? What's happening? What's going? What's going? So, yeah. Sounds like maybe we could take a full, full like solid rest up. Yeah, you're gonna keep watch, uh, Ulan Eriks. Yes. yes. Okay. All right. Good night. Sleep. Good night. Long rest. Uh, long rest. Long you rest. Guys just lay down to sleep on the upper floor. No, Naya, the upper Naya floor. definitely goes to where they pass the beds. And Lux <laughs> tells Naya the that these yeah. beds were used for ritual, like torture and murder. And they're not for ritual blood. murder. It was a heat of the moment murder. Just, yeah, yeah. yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just like spontaneous <laughs> murder. It was, very, it was very. It was very. this way: they were not red blood, uh, red red bed sheets to start. No, no. A couple of them are clean. Seems like a few of the murderers at least didn't get blood on their beds. Nope. So you could okay. sleep in the... <laughs> how, how long ago was that? Oh, centuries. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm going to go take a bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Lex curls up on the stone. Um, so Next Naya to the goes portals. downstairs to rest in the bedroom. Lux curls up on the stone, up by the portals. Uh, I don't know if you guys want to do anything else in terms of like exploring the facility, questions, examining any of this Eight stuff. Eight hours later, got. maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, like sleep, like sinking in, overwhelming all of you. You guys, uh, since like the first time since August or whatever, you can have a long rest. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <dang. laughs> oh my gosh. Holy wow. Shit. How do does, I the, even... does the door max maximum HP... hit points back up? We go back up, right? Yeah. Remember back. that you only yes. get half of your hit dice back. Yes. You do only get half your hit dice back, which is important. Thank you, Troy. I'm just going to go throw a log on the stove because it's that time of year. Uh, yes. and oh you all may go through God. your long rest. Look at that. Oh. Look at that. All this All this stuff coming back. Clark yeah. Wow. Uh, wow. 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 I'll have questions for Rich when he gets back, but like. Is that question, do we level up? <laughs> oh my <laughs> That's God. That's a great question. <laughs> I think he heard that. <laughs> too uh, early for that. It's too early. It's not the what? right time. Never too uh, early. I, I think. Um, like, does does the orb, does the myriad orb regain charges in at dawn, or is it like? That's after your rest, yeah. Hey, yes. Yes. <laughs> For those hard of hearing, he says it resets after your rest. <laughs> uh, we should call the orb Miriam. Oh, I like that. We're gonna see how they feel about that. Agreed. Um. Okay, and then. I think, yeah. All right. And then let's roll a D3 to see what the astromancy does. Ooh. It's, it's been so long since I've short or long rested. I forgot that I have to roll for the <laughs> I heart. know. All this crazy stuff happens when you long rest. I love that question. Also, Melissa uh, being quietly shot down by your compatriot. Oh, my God. <laughs> What, what question? He's really yelling at you, Pinky. Yeah, Pinky. I agree. He should let us yeah, know. Up. Level up now. Right now. Now. Want to level up now? <laughs> so you know he's not sick anymore. You know, you could scream at me. Oh yeah, little booger face. Oh, yeah, little buddy. Uh. I, I think if we're like, are we getting to the next morning or do we have more questions about long resting? Sure. Anything you want to know. Yeah. Let me know. Uh, I'll just say uh, Reg spends an inordinate, inord I don't, you don't even know the word anymore. <laughs> like uh, an amount of time like you have never seen before. 
okay. pouring over the astromancy archive and the like last vestiges of his spell book that he is still like maybe not copied down onto the archive mm -hmm. um and like really torn about what to prepare today and just <laughs> like flipping back and forth through the pages and spinning the ore it's just like I think Tough Lux is choices. woken up and is like propped on her like elbows, like just watching Reggie. You've been doing that for a long time. There's so many possibilities. There's so I I I I was woefully unprepared for yesterday, and I should hope to be more prepared for tomorrow. Well, we still like lived, so Guys, well, that seems stressful. You have to do that every day? Yes, every day. I must it's make rough. difficult choices about which <laughs> spells to prepare and uh, mm. even how to use them at every moment. It, Meanwhile, Doc, like, punches two things and is like, done. <laughs> <laughs> I love this morning. <laughs> what does Naya do when they first get up in the morning? Uh, In here? Like, in this area or just yeah. in general? Yeah. Um, usually it's just put their clothes back on, but I guess in this particular instance, <laughs> uh, so yeah, I think it just, <laughs> I just probably that put their armor back on because they probably wake up and uh, didn't have the armor on in this particular case, and probably like stumbles back upstairs and is just like, oh, that bed was so comfortable. Yeah, this oh, rock great. was really nice. <sighs> <laughs> okay. Ready. All right. So great. This is awesome. We feel fantastic. Which portal do we want to do? We were saying Machine World before. Are we back to Machine World. Let's do Machine World. Mm. I mean, I think we have to find Ice, Ice World. The others first, and then Didn't come they, back. They, they, they said they were okay, though. They said they were having a great time, hanging out with ghosts and spirits and spectral dragonflies. They're doing. They're having all the fun. I could check in again. Uh, yes, yes, we could do that. Uh, but do we feel that we've fully exhausted all of what we need from this place? Because there is always the possibility that we will not be able to return for one reason or another. Can I yeah, please is. fly this asteroid? Please? I want to yeah. so bad, just for a second, just for a second. You're speaking to me as if I'm your, your parent or something. I'm not. You have the orb, Reggie. I need the thing. Oh, of course, yes. No, this is not oh. mine. This is ours. Well, you gave me such a look before. I don't know. I give you a look because I, you are near death, as was I. I couldn't know in what direction. I feel much more capable of being able to keep keep us alive than you to keep yeah, us alive. Yeah, I feel alive. pretty good right now. Children, 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 we can all drive the asteroid. It'll be great. <laughs> <laughs> None of you know how to drive like I know how to drive. Let's That's clear. true. We, but we do know how to drive. Absolutely true. I can try. No barrel rolls, though. Just me. I'm gonna do a barrel roll in the oh, set. Oh, you're all gonna have Lux, make an intelligence check. Oh no. That's gonna go really well. Mm -hmm. 14? Uh, 14 is good enough that as you're considering the logistics of barrel roll in the asteroid, you do recall that there's no longer a ceiling and you're not entirely confident that the gravity will sustain itself through the slow arc of the gravity uh, for this that you might mm -hmm. inadvertently dump your friends into the void of space if you barrel roll the roofless asteroid. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hey, sorry, Rich. I realized that I slept in another room that I haven't explored. Can I have mm -hmm. searched that room? You absolutely can. As you woke up amidst the room, putting your armor on, you see there are all these like chests and shelves of books, like end tables and small kind of cubbies and cabinets and all of this kind of stuff. Um, so, yeah, you want to like books. <laughs> dig around a little bit? Yeah, I will. Um, sure. We, you're not looking through books then. You're specifically looking through everything else. Yeah. 
Or if I find books, I'm just like tossing them aside. <laughs> Um, okay, you're like tossing books aside. Go ahead and let, well, uh, yeah, make an investigation check. Sure, let's do this. And if you want to take your time, you could do it with advantage. Sure, considering my investigation is a zero. Mm -hmm. uh, yep, not ideal. Still a 12. <laughs> still a 12. So you're throwing all these books. You're throwing all these books. Many of them are like in like disrepair and kind of like explode when they hit the ground behind you. The bindings Ooh. burst. Pages like fluttering out everywhere. Dust kicking up from them. The one of them like hits the ground like heavy sliding away. But I think as you're digging around, you flip open like one of the chests and you see this like glint of color and you kind of like move some of like the, the like bedwares and stuff that are on top and kind of rotted and destroyed out of the way. And what you find in here, Naya, is a small, like, kind of, like, wooden box that's got a whole series of paint jars in it. You see, like, red, green, purple, yellow, and they seem, like, bright and vibrant and colorful. There's, like, barely even any kind of dust that's, like, clung to the bottles. Nice. Uh, is there a paintbrush? Yeah, as you then, like, lift the basket up out of it, you see there's, like, a series of brushes, like, set in along the edge of the basket. So it's a handful of paint brushes with um, these four jars of paint. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take them. I'll probably, when I go upstairs, also mention, uh, you know, after being like, oh, hey, everyone, uh, great rest with great mattress. I was like, oh, I found uh, this these cool paint jars uh, i think i'm gonna pick take a painting that sounds like it'll be a fun a very fun creative outlet uh maybe throw some paint on some paper see how that turns out uh there was also some books that uh people must you know hundreds of years ago thrown about they're very <laughs> very dismissive of the books down there they they're a mess so it's probably not worth um checking out we did check it out um already oh uh, yes uh, speaking mm. of which uh and I think he, like, reaches in and, like, pulls out a very thick book that's, like, tucked amongst his many packages and things. Uh, I know. Yeah, Kevin. I know. Uh, but, uh, oh, somehow my watch is screaming at me. Uh, he pulls out the tome and he says, um, uh, I did find this down there. And I've not had a chance to look at it more closely, but it's... Uh, it appears to be, uh, and he looks in Doc's direction, uh, it, something that would be of your interest to you, I believe. And he hands over the uh, tome uh, with Zeri's mark on it that is called something Constructs and Constructions. Mm -hmm. Oh, buddy. Ooh, give me, give me, give me. Yes. And I think he like then pulls out the scroll of spell jamming, uh, creates spell jamming hell that we found down there and says, uh, I have my own light reading at some point, not immediately useful. Cool. Um, so uh, as you get a look at like these paints that like Nia is holding, um, Reg, let me have you make an Arcana check. Yeah, I I also think if I can, uh, even though I just did a thing like, uh, Reg definitely takes like a, a keen interest in the paints, and I think as he inspects them, like you you will notice he will make comments about them relative to like their pigment and texture and form in a way that is, um, where he like knows a little something about paint. Uh, in, in an interesting way. Um, Professor Reginald, <laughs> the artist. I think as you know the pigments, you're like, yeah, these these pigments are, are marvelous. They're really quite something. And as you're looking over like the container, you see there are um, these very like light runes etched into the jars. The jars are like not a cheap glass, but a fine crystal. And I think that you get a notion that like, oh yeah, these paints are definitely enchanted. Uh, and just for the sake of clarity and bookkeeping from session to session, uh, I will reveal to you uh, that they are in fact four jars of marvelous pigments. Ooh. I don't know. Oh. What? Uh, they let you paint things 
that come to life. A very <laughs> oh, 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 So oh, there's a couple God. of like qualifiers and, and qua- I, qualifiers. I wish that but... Reggie hadn't looked that up and then Naya just painted something and it came to life. And it's just like, oh, oh my. <laughs> well, I will say at this point, only Reg knows mm-hmm. uh, this information. Excellent. Uh, let me think here. Also, Reggie. to clarify, you mean come to life as in like the object yeah, yeah, appears? The, uh, object it's not like comes real. It doesn't. Yeah, the example like is like a pit awakened. becomes an actual pit. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you can't like uh, create life. Object, you know? yes. not creature. Paint of God. You know. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not quite paint. the paint of God. Um, yeah, I think I think Reg would, would just be like, oh, these are these are marvelous pigments. Uh, <laughs> I've only seen such things once, uh, perhaps twice, but uh, you see, these are extremely rare and very valuable. Uh, they I could also, make real like, your heart's you desire. You haven't seen red before? Or blue? or I, I'm confused. Oh, yes. Uh, a marvelous pigment. Right. Right. That means nothing to you. Oh, that's so marvelous is a real big word. Yeah, uh, it, it, it is a sort of enchanted artistic capacity. Oh. It, it what, what is it? The great thinker Bersenton once said, uh, "When one imagines something and paints it to the canvas, it is as if it is brought to life and given a new presence uh, among the viewer." That was simply to describe art. However, that quite literally describes what occurs here. You... Uh, N- Naya's already unscrewing one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot convey to you how exceedingly rare this is. Whatever uh-huh. you paint, whatever uh-huh. object, it becomes real. Uh, oh, o- like object? I can't like just if I paint a face on this rock over here, won't it? It won't like talk. I, oh, I do not know the extent. The you leave it to you to push the limits of such things. These this could be this could be the sort of how do they call it? A get out of jail free card. Have you been in jail before, wizard? I think you hear the voice. That's my question. Yeah, usually I would just kick down the door. Leverage. No. It's a holy to paintbrush. Kick the door. So wait, for for Kevin's clarification, by the way, each jar is one use. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Got four shots. Yeah. <laughs> God, why did you give it to me? <laughs> God's chaos. It's maximum chaos. Also, Reggie, are you like a painter or something? You know a lot about paints. Oh, no. God, no. I was not given that sort of talent. He's my mother. He's quite studied in the way of art, in art history. So oh, I cool. did have to learn a thing or two about... Pigments. Hmm. Okay, hey Lux, are you there? Yeah, 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 yeah. Ben, we're here. Yeah, hey, it's Ben. Ooh, hi. Oh yeah, I called you right. Okay, listen. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Raya is. Uh, I think she found the thing. She said it's not a cat. It's definitely not a cat or a reptile, but uh, we got it all under control. We're definitely in the realm of spirits. There's ghosts all over the place, uh, but don't worry. We're pretty sure we can find you. Yeah? How do you think you're going to find us? Uh, well, actually, it was really convenient. You see, Ask was explaining to us that when Doc created this uh, beacon that you took apart from the... Ro- I don't know, strange shadow magic stuff. I don't really know about that yeah. so much, but... Uh, Naya has a ring that is attuned, so we can track you down, I think. Ask, Ken. Well, that's, uh, a little creepy, but also really convenient. 
Yeah, it's 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 yeah. Convenient. Yeah, I mean, I, okay. I just thought to myself, why the heck did you mention this before now, you silly goose? And, <laughs> and he did not like that. Uh, and just to confirm, Ask can track us down without needing to, like, bond with anybody? Oh, just oh do I'm that. not certain about that. I didn't actually ask that kind of a question. Let's go. Hey, Doc! Uh, uh, yep. Hi, Ben. <laughs> They don't really let me use this that often. I'm sorry. I'm a little excited about her. I, I, I think they could just find Naya, and I'm not sure about any tuning, to be honest with you. Okay, well, we won't leave Naya or let Naya leave. She, mm -hmm. like, looks pointedly. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. As long as you guys are all together, we should be able to reunite without, uh, well, uh too many problems, baby. Cool. Okay. Yeah, we'll be in the same, like, general area. Um, I'm just gonna do a little bit of flying practice. Flying practice? You got another ship? No, we have an asteroid. Okay. Is that yeah. like a meteor? Or... <laughs> yeah. It's complicated. <laughs> it's just a big rock. It's, uh, it's pretty simple. Okay, okay. So Ray is asking, should we wait here? or Because it's one of those things where you're in a crowd and you're like, okay, no, I'm going to go look for them. To us. Gonna, we're going to you then. We can't. Yes. We don't know how to get to you. So if you can come to us. We'll mm -hmm. fly in a circle where we Yeah, are. no, I'm not going to go anywhere crazy. I'm just going to go in a circle. If you ask me, everywhere we go up here is crazy. It's no Hiroto, that's for sure. <laughs> it's True. no Hiroto. Yeah. Okay, great. We'll see you. Uh, um, I'm not really sure how long, but eventually. Also, what, what did you find? What did you say the thing was that you found? Not a cat. Not a cat, not a lizard. What is it? <laughs> what is it's, it? Not a, it's not an insect either. It's a... I, I mean, it's probably better off if I just, uh, uh, hey, you want to say hi? Oh, no, it's bashful. It's, uh, ah. It's bashful. Wait, I'm can not, I talk? Not exactly, but I'm also not sure if I just, might just not just be get here. understanding we'll, his yeah. syntax Don't exactly. Don't worry about it, Ben. I might, might be lost in translation, you know? Don't worry about it. Get your butts over here, and we'll figure it out. Ooh, that tickles. Ooh. Okay, all right, yeah, we're on our way. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> well, I guess that answers that question. Does it? Huh? What? Naya's no, still just... standing there with the paper <laughs> in that hand, that not having paid attention question. to anything. Still just. <laughs> waiting I mean, I certainly have a guess something. as to what it is, but Doc yeah. has no idea. Not that specific question. It's not the question I'm talking about. I'm um, sorry. I was a little distracted. Did we figure out like where they are or how far away they are? They're from in us? this nope. <laughs> They're in the spirit realm. They're coming to us <laughs> somehow. <laughs> Maybe. So we just gotta hang tight. Yep. And I think Doc is gonna pour over this constructs and construction book. <laughs> okay. Nice little thinking about what to paint. They they actually did not pay attention to any of the conversation. They had a <laughs> They're just like looking at like the limitless potential of this paintbrush. Like, ooh. This is this is like <laughs> Doc is reading. Lux is just <laughs> flying, doing donuts in space. Give me the orb. <laughs> oh yeah, you got the orb. But uh the... did we guys Lux would have asked Reggie, can you do like the mind connection thing again? Oh, oh that, that was not me. I don't know. Talk, talk to the hand. Oh, the orb. Talk to the orb. <laughs> I... Um, I don't know if they can hear me now. Hello? I think Lux, like, waves her hand in front of the orb. I think that you see, like, the eye, like, appear almost <laughs> as though it's looking around itself, which is a little <laughs> bit of a weird... <laughs> it's like this tw twisted, like, as it's turning, looking over at you. Uh, can you do the thing that you did yesterday? I think Lux, like, points to her head and then, like, pokes, or tries to poke Reggie's, but she's just too tall. Um, and then, like, pokes Doc. Like... Uh, is Reggie still holding the staff, or do you have the staff? Oh, I think... I've given it over okay oh, so you're oh okay it, so then lux? Lux, if lux is holding it then she's like this like 
Oh, okay. So you get this sensation, Lux, as you're holding the staff. First of all, uh, like the conduit through the staff is suddenly like something almost like opens up. It's like it, it's like it lets you into itself a little bit to access it. And you uh, uh, go ahead and roll a constitution saving throw. Um, you get this sensation back in your mind of like... Oh, yeah. Okay. You are like overwhelmed with the intensity of like the eight portals that you feel like a conduit kind of coursing through the orb and the staff into you. Like the whole thing. It's like a feedback loop, Lux. You're like, oh. <laughs> so, yeah, Lux is exactly just getting like, like respond to it. But you eyes. feel yourself like connecting to all of them. And in the midst of this, like underneath the overwhelming sensation of feeling all these portals so connected uh you realize like if you choose to consume the charges you can enact a telepathic bond okay yeah i think lux will like just kind of like instinctively like because that was her goal in the first place will like attempt to do that like to urge the orb to do so and it does uh it burns its five charges and it connects you all with the brave telepathic bond again I'm sorry. Wow. But it uses all five charges for the telepathic bond. Oh, doesn't it? Did I make that up? Or is it four? It is five. No, it, it does. does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Sure did. That's that's what happened. Oh, don't give Lux and Naya the extremely <laughs> powerful items. <laughs> <laughs> I just need you all to know the reg that lives inside of me. <laughs> Like, this is not Troy. This is the wrench that lives inside of me. I'm cool. I'm chill. I'm really, I got all kinds of, I got all kinds of chill in me. The wrench that lives inside of me. It's like the vein is like bulging on the side of her head. Like, oh, I think trying. Lux is Lux is standing there, probably like her short, like white hair is like standing up a little bit, and she like looks like crazy eyed with like this staff in her hand. Holy shit, Reg! This is crazy. <laughs> Did I hear somebody say space donuts? I think as like the ghost or dragon comes like <laughs> flitting down, like landing on like the upper levels, and um, like Ooh, space donuts. That I could I could draw. Us, I could make us all space donuts. We could have like a donut space donut breakfast. What is a space donut? Space donuts. Uh... We're we're here. And I think that you see the dragon like unfurl its hand for a moment, the like ghostly like palm as it does so, and uh, piled in its hand are like a series of space donuts. Wait, okay, I thought you meant the asteroid, but you mean actual donuts? Uh, Naya's already eating like two of them. <laughs> as, I, <laughs> as I take like the donut, it's got this very like spongy texture. As you lift it off the hand of like this, the ghost dragon's maw, and you're like, this is unbelievable. You're looking into the space donut. The stars are like surging in on themselves, like, like twirling through. There's all this movement. And you're, like, like the donut and like, in everything everywhere all at once. <laughs> You, like bite the chaotic into spelling of donuts too is just <laughs> yeah <laughs> you like that right uh -huh. <laughs> and i think as naya like bites down into the space donut this like radiant emergence of like light washes out of their mouth like light like emitting up off the edge of the donuts uh like filling up the space as lux is standing like crazy eyed with like the mad hair and the, the ghost dragon turns to you the rest of you like um i can no longer taste them Aww. but they were quite a savory delicacy when I yet lived within the stars. Yeah, Lux drops one right around. Yeah. And uh, and dare I say, Reggie, we... if you're not going to eat yours, I'm going to. This is the, one of the most magical experiences I've ever <laughs> oh. had. Apologies, I was just thinking about something. <laughs> <laughs> 
I think it's on that note of Nye saying that that I have to say, despite it's a little early, but I think that's where we leave our adventures tonight. Uh, it's like a lot of you are sitting, like, fighting into these space donuts. Reggie, like, the skeptic, like, what the hell? Uh, right? And I think that um, as, like, the camera fades to black, it comes back into focus. And we see simply the sight of the dragonfly hurtling through the starry void of space. I think the camera pulling in closer and closer and closer towards it until we see in through like one of the portholes in the side. And we see the sight of uh, old Ben, the kobold. And, and he sits kind of at a table and he appears to be like talking to somebody on the other side. Uh, the old kobold and the camera like moving ever so slightly I think that we just get an image of this tiny 10 inch tall person standing oh, on the table of the mess with this like blue hair and these big eyes and it's like staring opposite bed like I was like nodding right and, and through the doorway into the hallway I think we just see Rhea walk by with the shadow or ask floating over her shoulder trailing along behind <laughs> and that's really where we'll leave our adventures today oh my gosh <laughs> wow Wow, um, wow. Yeah, that was a pretty wow. wild session of D&D. I there's I feel like there's like some uh, loose ends. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me for like You feel like there are some loose ends. <laughs> some loose ends. <laughs> I guess. I guess I do, Melissa. Yes, that, I have many questions, Rich. Yes. Is that the full understatement of the year? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Question one. What is that? <laughs> As you get a look at them, you realize that they seem like they're like maybe seven inches tall, if not. Uh -huh. Like they're standing on the table opposite bed, this this tiny little person. I mean, our characters don't see our them, characters right? Don't. No. Yeah. 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 No. Oh, no, we got oh. them. Just so cute. Also, the space donuts just wild. I really thought I was going to save them for a long time, but you said space donut, Troy, and it was Pavlovian. I don't have that kind of impulse control that I can like sit around and wait for months. I was like, oh, space donut. You had that prepared. Yeah. You knew. I was like, Rich, did you just make that in like the three minutes? I know. It was like, like not loaded in. I did have to load it into Roll Twenty, but nonetheless, um, wow. that's episode twenty at Dragonfly, <laughs> you guys. Yeah, you got a Wild. long rest. You got a long rest. Did. I was wow. very afraid about level the up. Needed. We level yeah. up. End of session. It feels like it would be cool to level up, doesn't it? <laughs> Can't say that. We should just level up. Yeah, let's yeah. fuck it. Let's level up. Level up! <laughs> <laughs> let's do it! Really? Let's level up! Ooh. Yeah. You just, you, sir, just gave me haste. I know. Listen, you need it. You spent a lot of time very stationary tonight. I did. <laughs> like real tired straight Can I tell you, Reg did not prepare haste today for the first time in forever. And I like to imagine he just like looks over at Lux and it's like, eh, it seems fast enough. Lux, with, <laughs> Lux is like very fitting right now. She woke up with crazy hair, maniacal laughter. She's like, the power of the portals. It's mine. Yeah, oh my God. Goes. That's oh Dragonfly, boy. yeah. I know it's like very confusing of like, wait, the ship, Raya. I hope it's not too excruciating for you guys as players to feel like, oh God, we're paralyzed. Like we're spinning our wheels, you know? Um, yeah. There's some like questions of resolution, but I'm pretty sure I made fair assumptions leaping to where, we're, where we are. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. It's all good. I think I think we've, we've pushed right to the limit of how long we can uh, <laughs> uh, be away. Maybe not be away from the ship, but uh, be away from contact with the ship. So mm -hmm. now, um, now comes the time to find out what realm they're even in. Yeah. Are we, should we roll next time? Or 
hit points you may choose you don't have to now no pressure i'm not one to like put the the hit point pressure on if you want to roll like secretly in the dark of night when nobody else is looking at you that's very fine too are you kidding me i'm rolling done here we go i'm rolling yeah let's do it big roll i even know which dice it is that's that's pretty good that's nice that's pretty nice pretty good pretty good just reminding myself Um, what my con mod is Oh yeah, that's probably pretty decent. This was fun, you guys. I hope this was a good one. Uh, that was a real hairy fight. That felt stressful. It was scary for a second. Uh, here Kevin, yeah. like you, it was a big yeah. return uh, coming back here. You may re-roll that six. Okay. The D six. Same rules. Okay. Yes, yeah, same rules. Same rules for sure. Please. Okay. Yes. Uh, we'll take it. All right. What we're talking about. Let's so I let people re-roll all ones. They may re-roll their twos once. Okay. Okay. Nice. Wow. Oh, nice. Uh, oh, that's, that's a real one, one, right? Yeah. Yep. Thank Re-roll. God. Holy Jesus. That's much All right. Okay. All right. Okay. There we go. Nice. Okay. Eight okay. and nine Not on the D10s. Right. You really? guys needed no. that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm what level I, are you guys now. That's like nine. Four. Nine yeah, level. Nine. I have to say, I also leveled up one of my other characters to level nine this week and it it feels like always the leveling up always lines up somehow it's really funny but my other character has 53 hit points <laughs> now lux is rocking like near 80. this is wild 80 yeah, oh my gosh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. it's freaking that's, yeah, 78 that's... hit points I'm also a 78. <laughs> yes! You guys were all, for quite a while, like, clustered in this very strange group where all of you were, like, within five hit points of each other, except Doc, <laughs> I think. But there was a minute where, like, you guys were all really, like, right there, and it was crazy. Uh, yeah. Everybody was super tight and on top of each other. Yeah. I think I must have rolled terribly because I have a plus two constitution, so I'm like, it should be fine. Uh, um, for the other stuff, we just character mancer this, I assume? Sure, you can. The character mancer works in here. I have all the books shared. Um, cool. Okay. Yeah, this is great. It works for those of us who yeah. didn't make you invent a whole subclass. Hey, <laughs> it's worth it. It's probably I worth it. I don't use the character entry. mancer because I hate the character mancer. Well, oh, uh, don't slag many. Roll20. It's our, it's our beloved virtual I'm table. No, no, no. I love Roll20. Listen, Listen I, I like, feel the I apple like on the my desk, Taylor. Yeah, I, I like the process. Yeah, it's fun. I know. Yeah. It's fun. Um, all right. Well, cool. We'll do a bunch of this stuff offline. We'll talk. We'll find out uh, what the heck is going on with Raya and Ben and the weird little guy on the ship. Uh, uh, yeah, we'll see what's going on there. Um, in the interim, like, what are you guys doing? You guys are all doing interesting stuff. Anybody want to like talk about anything, Kevin? What do you got going on, man? Plus four uh, proficiency bonus. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's what I'm doing. <laughs> um, what what am I doing? What am I doing? Well, uh, I've got a few podcasts that are happening. Uh, one of them is, of course, Mighty Ducks Game Changers, which I'm doing with right over here, Melissa Woodward. Uh, we're covering Mighty Ducks Game Changers season two. Uh, we're on coming up on episode seven uh, or eight, I think eight. Episode eight got three more left. Um, yeah. I believe it is, which is which is wild. Uh, but that having a blast over there. We're also doing with Adam H, aka P, in the chat here. Um, uh, the Who A, which is the Doctor Who podcast. Very fantastic time covering that. Uh, coming into one of my personal favorite episodes this week, The Girl in the Fireplace from uh, David Tennant's first season um and uh everything is super we just did the black panther coverage uh josh was uh uh out of town which actually worked out really well so we had on sasha joseph and jason reed and myself talking about black panther ricotta forever which was really really fantastic conversation from the three of us talking about the film personal experiences um a lot of stuff that was really an absolute blast to talk about um so check all that out and then uh yeah uh everything is super also continuing We'll be diving into the DCEU coming up really soon, but we realized we had some other stuff we want to hit right before that, namely the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special, which is coming out mm-hmm. very soon. So that's going to be very entertaining to talk about. Um, and it's also going to be a good segue into the DCEU, considering the news about James Gunn uh, taking Pictures. over uh, yeah. DC Entertainment, which is really, really uh, uh, exciting. Uh, I think that's it. I don't know. I think I said everything. Maybe <laughs> that's it for me. That was a handful of good things. Yeah. Uh, how about you, Melissa? Your partner in crime there over on Huey. 
yeah, I uh, do d those things, and I'm also going to start talking about his dark materials with Rich. Oh, so uh, our preview podcast is going to drop tomorrow, I believe, and then I we're doing so. uh, season one and season two recaps before season three starts uh, December 5th. So that'll be exciting. Uh, plenty of time to catch up. His dark materials is very, very cool. The seasons are really good. They're good adaptations. Um, you got time to get caught up December 5th, season three premiere. So I'm super Can't psyched to actually like podcasts with you regularly. Uh, Taylor, yeah, you got stuff. Yeah. Yeah, we have some stuff. Yeah, we uh, are Rich and I are podcasting about Willow. Uh, we kicked it off last week and are going to continue. Uh, we're going to chat about the movie this week, which I watched yesterday for the very first time. It was a delightful experience. Very excited to talk about it. Uh, yeah, so that's happening. Check it out. Very cool. Troy, how about you? You always uh, keep us abreast of important things. Remind us. Ground us. Yeah. Empower um, us. Yeah. As of today, the peppermint chocolate chip milkshake is back at Chick-fil-A. Oh, so, yeah, baby. Uh, no, I don't know. I'm, I'm just playing. Um, uh, that is true, though, for anyone who does choose to patronize Chick-fil-A. I do it welcome for you not to. Um... Uh, I will say this. I have nothing to promote other than it's become winter in a lot of places uh, very quickly. And so it's that time of year where uh, those of us with uh, spicy brains sometimes feel the feels a little more than we normally do. And so do what you got to do to preserve your peace. Uh, go get yourself a milkshake if that's going to be uh, uh, what you enjoy. Uh, do your workouts. Get out. See some sunshine. Uh, spend time with friends. Like, play some D&D. &D. Maybe hire DM Philly to run your D&D &D session. I don't know. But just it's find funny, whatever yeah. preserves your peace and brings joy to you in the season. Find something to get excited about around the holidays or the winter sports you love. It's hockey season. All those things. Canadians lean into it. So, yeah. Take care of yourselves. Love one another. I look forward to watching some curling, uh, drinking hot cocoa with you guys at some point during this winter. It's going to be a good time. Uh, for real, though, you know, the time change hits hard. Uh, it's a hard transition. I've, like, felt it the last couple of weeks, and I, like, love to live in the darkness. I have the the big introvert energy of, like, oh, it's dark out. I'm not responsible for anything. This is great. Uh, no, <laughs> nobody needs me. Awesome. Uh, I'm podcasting about a bunch of stuff over a post-show recap so you can find all my loyal compatriots talking about their many shows and projects. Projects and it is a good time, so go scope it out over there, postshowrecaps.com. Uh, you could sign up for the Patreon and come hang out in the Discord with us, should you choose. It's very fun. Watch Andor. It's incredibly good. It's building on itself in a way that is wildly impressive for Star Wars work. Uh, Grace and I just finished wrapping up coverage on Interview with the Vampire. If that's a thing you love, this was a really, really uh, wonderful adaptation. Made some huge, bold choices in the way that they approached it that just added... Uh, incredible kind of depth to an already very deep story so that's been fun and yeah i'm psyched to talk about all this other stuff with you guys but thank you all for everybody who hung out here tonight through our frantic battle of ghosts on the asteroid i hope it was fun for you too uh for anybody find it in the vods thank you Feel free to hit me up on Twitter and be like, oh, hey, DM Philly, I watched this years after you made it. Uh, that'll only make me feel good. So, yeah, I'm doing a favor to future me. Thanks for that. And thank you for being here. Uh, we're going to go now. Let's get the hell off the Internet before I say other things. Bye. Bye.